by about three or four goals in a pretty close one. Well, just for the challenge, I'll say the Bays on a day that is pretty important to them. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And, and after a night where they've had their Hall of Fame celebration and then this afternoon with uh, a lot of Premiership players watching on. And you, as I said, you can't say that too much about the Bays because no. they haven't got a lot of Premiership just players. Just the three of them. Yeah, very rare is uh, a, a Premiership for the Tigers. Of course, getting into the grand final, the four rather, of course, uh, getting into the grand final in 2008 under Mark Micken, who's doing great things at West Adelaide. Yesterday, Nord and West had a great game at the uh, parade. We'll touch on that maybe at halftime. We're not too far away from play resuming here at Glider Roll Stadium. Good to see Clint Alloway going down to full forward, being picked up by Cameron Craig. Mentioning the umpires out there earlier, Mitchell Scott, Andrew Crosby and Scott Hosking, the field umpires officiating today's proceedings. And to get us underway very shortly, play will presume, and your first caller will be Neil Cross. So an interesting day out at the bay. And Carter goes against Craig, who taps it down beautifully. Three out of the middle for North Adelaide and deep into their forward line, straight away towards the line and eventually just tapped over quite easily there by Michael Galley for the Bays. And they'd be happy with that because, gee, that was a good clearance straight out of the middle, down to the left forward pocket. Perfect start. And Max Thring back in the side after a couple of weeks off. Played last week, but really important cog is the vice-captain of the Roosters. The ball comes back into play. The front cleared away by the base. Out towards Jolly. One touch, two. Wasn't bad. Look away. Hand pass was pretty good. In the, get, in the end, it was Bradley who came through and took possession. Forward hand pass wasn't too bad. It was pretty severe, but Bailey was good enough to get it. He goes in the direction of Alloway and across the line from Craig there. It was Cameron Craig who took it across the line there. So they're down to right half forward, the base. Interesting start to the game after the first clearance went straight out of the middle and into the North Adelaide forward line. The umpire, ready to resume play, throws the footy over his shoulder. Craig up against Carter, the former blood. Craig wins out, down to Anderson, takes possession. Hamble looked for O'Keefe, just had a touch of the fumbles, but good work to get the ball back in board to Clisby. Through the middle of the ground now, it's Spina for North Adelaide. Hamble's out to a running Edwards. They've got some numbers forward of the footy. 1-2 went Edwards with O'Keefe. Centre wing grandstand side, a kick in boards, a nice one from Edwards and marked by Darren Schillerbeer. The big fella marked about 52 metres out. Josh Scott, the Tiger man, on the mark. See a little secret, Crossy. The 50-metre arcs here at the uh, Bay aren't actually 50 metres. They're <laughs> 47. So I'd say Schillerbeer won't have any trouble with the distance. He's on a 45-degree angle, kicking to that primary school end. Starts it out to the left. It's not going to make its way back. It's down there in the pocket. Good spoil down there by Curran. Ball at ground level. Amato with the attempted soccer. Good work down there by Merritt. On the last line, gets a handball out. Clears it now to Curran. Underneath the scoreboard. Right half back, the kiss, kick just missed the target. Good work in there by Miles. Gets a handball out to Virgin. He clears a handball now to Clinch. Great tackle down there by McIntyre of Glenelg. Was it rewarded? No. Play on the call. Ball in the middle now. A lot of players around it. Clinch clears it. Gives a handball back. Looking for three. Good tap on by Jolly. The umpire's found a free. It's play on advantage. It's going the way of the Bays, but they've turned it over. Edwards intercepts. Off to Spina. Inside 50. Indecisive. Wobbly kick to the forward pocket. Galley leads it towards the boundary line, and it's gone over the line. Just right of the scoreboard that shows neither side yet to score. We've travelled two minutes and a dangerous kick inside 50 there. Just a poor one. Ball will be thrown in in the left forward pocket here at Glider Roll. And you can see immediately why these sides are ranked down the ladder. Just their efficiency around the ball is just sometimes just not good enough. Malira with the look away hand pass. Galley picked it up, got a scrubby kick forward. Couldn't be taken by Bailey. Now coming through, Earl took it away. Comes to this side of the ground into a bit of space. And if they sort it out, the Roosters do have the numbers and eventually the numbers prevail. And they come away through Greg. And then across the ground he goes to Miles and then Miles with a hand pass to Cameron. And he thought about it, Craig I should say, Cameron Craig. And it wasn't a great kick, was it? Turned over straight away. Malira clear on 50 or 47, as Phil said. <laughs> Good enough just to drop it in short to Johansson. He's called to play on. It wasn't far enough. Malira still with the ball. Left foot shot at goal. Minor score first of the afternoon. And it hasn't been an auspicious start by either side, you'd say. And the Bays just lead by that one behind. And we've gone through about four minutes in this opening term. So Marlon Motlock takes the kick-out duties for the Roosters, plays on to himself, then goes into the middle of the ground. But it's turned over. Merritt of the Tigers takes it, goes in a 1-2 with Snook. Back to Merritt now, just corralled by Ryswick. Evades around him, does well, the young man. Kicks it inside 50 on the lead was Bailey, but intercepting nicely O'Brien. Back in the side now, the former Brisbane line. Played reserves last week. It's a beautiful kick to the middle of the ground. Finds Obst. He plays on quickly with a wobbly kick inside 50. Schillerbeer bounced off his chest down there. Galley does well for the Tigers. 
And the kick just missed the target, though. Again, that poor skill execution. And as Neil Cross said, you've got 10th playing 8th. The Tigers sitting at the bottom of the ladder without a win. The skill level isn't always that quality. And Galley there just rushed the kick and came off the side of the boot. Right in front of your commentary position, the ball's thrown back in. Up goes Craig, wins the hit out. Down to Virgin in the fluoro orange boots this afternoon. Back now to Edwards. The rush kick around the body. Inside 50, Scott flies. Left it for his teammate Curran. And Chris Curran's marked in the defensive 50 for the Tigers. And he can spread it straight away. And he does the galley and he misses him. And it'll go out of bounds. So doesn't that tell the story of the match thus far? Groundhog Day. <laughs> yes, yeah, just seems to be going around and around and not going anywhere. Right at this time, there'd be some players from the 1985 Grand Final saying, or well, Premiership, I should say, from the Bay, saying, well, you know, I think I could still get a game out there. Three off the pack. Goes at goal. Snaps and just falls short. Curran with the touch through. So minus score levels it up. One minus score apiece. Three with that shot off the pack. Well gathered, but Curran was awake to it. The current now takes the kick out for the Tigers. Comes to this grandstand side. Galley couldn't take it. Good spoil down there. Spinner. Handball came out from Earl. Now in the hands of Howard. Christian Howard back in the Asana fell up some time on the in the AFL with the Western Bulldogs. But his kick missed the target yet again. And it's Greg that's marked for North Adelaide right in front of the interchange bench. Grandstand side here at Glider Roll Stadium. We've travelled six minutes. One point apiece for both sides. So Greg went short, found Amato. He's gone backwards now. Halfback grandstand side are the Roosters. With the player in Motlop, goes to half forward and Schultz, the former red leg, marks it. Goes inside 50, Shillabier on the lead. Better play from North Adelaide. Clean with the skill and Shillabier's marked in front of Chris Curran. About 40 out directly in front and that was good ball movement by the Roosters, Crossy. They needed it, didn't they? Shillabier, Port Augusta native. So he'll have a look at the goal face and... Really, you'd think with the aid of what breeze there is out there, it's just a matter of judging the kick and easing it through. So Shillaby now from a step on 50, kicks on its way. It's a good-looking kick. Umpire barely moves. First goal of the day to the Roosters. Darren Shillaby gets his first. North Adelaide go to 1-1-7. Glenelg one behind. We've gone six and a half minutes in this first term and a good finish from the big man in Shillaby. First lead of the afternoon too for North Adelaide. Mind you, let's face it, Hasn't been much scoring, has there? <laughs> so, 1-1 one, one on the board for North Adelaide plays, one behind from the Bays. And as I said, there's a slight breeze to the right of the screen or to the southern end of the ground it's blowing. So, we'll get a bounce back in the middle or at least a throw up, as you saw. We could bounce the ball pretty high on that surface, trust me. Earl just releases a hand pass wide for Jolly, knocked away from him by Gorman who stands up and then oh I thought he was tripped the umpire didn't see it now I think he's taken high and that will be the free kick so Greg Gorman weak in the reserves just to get back some form last week and he's in and Shillabier is the target gee that was well done by Galley to get the ball away from him now a chance to steady up the base and another errant kick coming out of defense it wasn't fantastic at all from Aaron Joseph he's found the boundary line on this grandstand side of the glider roll stadium and it's a six-point lead for North Adelaide, and we've gone through, what, seven minutes in this opening quarter. Got the old-fashioned clock over there, Phil. Not easy to read. No, it's not at all. The only ground uh, in the SNFL that doesn't have the digital one, so the ball's thrown in. Bradley on hands and knees. Amato extracts it, spins out of a tackle, hands off to Virgin, off the non-preferred left, kick towards the goal line, misses to the right. So the Roosters peppering the goals. One, two, eight, uh, North Adelaide. That behind to Virgin. Glenelg, one behind, and the Tigers have taken an immediate kick out. Galley went to the outer side. Found a teammate, and it's now with Merritt. He's running off halfback. Halfback out of side. The kick's a poor one. North have some numbers back. Miles takes it. And Todd Miles, former Eagle, goes into the middle of the ground, finds the skipper in Gorman. Off to Clisby. Clisby now will kick it to a vacant 50. Leading the way is Bradley. And Andrew Bradley, the skipper of the Tigers, marks unopposed in defensive 50. Had a couple of options. You'll know that they'll want to move it, and eventually they do. He just goes into the short option in Woodall. So Woodall waiting, checking. They've covered up pretty well at North Adelaide. So as a result, he's had to go back to defensive goal square or just about to Galley. And then out the other side they go, just looking for a bit of space. There's not a lot available. Woodall's moved and he just got one late there from Shillabier. He'll get a little bit of attention, Shillabier, from the base. A couple of boys didn't like that. And Ob's there just throwing his opponent off the footy. And the umpire's just saying he's going to reverse the kick. Is he not? It's actually a 50-metre penalty against Ob's, so... Ill-disciplined by the former Bulldog. 
Yeah, just a uh, show of strength there from the Bays, just coming in, and Alan Ops just getting carried away. It's only a 25, not a 50. Interesting, they're talking the AFL that they want to quantify the rule, yeah, codify the rules nationally. I tell you, if they want to do that, let's go to the 25. Let's not all go to the 50. I think it's ridiculous. Agreed. But anyway, Bays break away through Bradley on centre wing. Down to centre half forward, wasn't a great kick. Turned over straight away. Andy Reid the other way. Forward looking hand pass was interesting. And then they'll go deep into attack again. Shillabier, well, he could have had a chest mark there, but well done going back. Josh Scott knocked it away from him. And over the boundary line in the right forward pocket for North Adelaide. Chance for the Roosters, and they just couldn't quite get the kick on point. Josh got a great spoil there. Plays in defence of late. Normally uh, recruited or recruited to the footy club as a forward. So the ball thrown in. Right forward pocket down at the southern end. Taken by Amato. Stolen nicely down there by the Tigers. Good work by Curran on the last line. Gives a handball back now to Joseph. Right back pocket. Kick outside. 50 looking for Jolly, just misses the target, goes over the boundary line. Great work down there, as we said, by the Glenelg player and Josh Scott. Played a great game for Glenelg at centre half back last week against the Magpies. The Tigers going down by eight points in that contest. So out of side, half forward flank to the southern end, the wind which north are kicking, ball thrown in. Schulz does the ruck work for the Roosters, gets a hit out. First possession to Curran though. Now it's with Bradley, hands off to Snoop. Malira now takes it. Gets the ricochet from Howard. He'll come grandstand side, switch it on. And he's found a teammate in Johansson, former Magpie. Chips short and Scott's ran on for him nicely. Gets a handball over the top. Just intercepted though by Clisby. Looked for his opponent, his opposition number 10 there in Malira. Does well to keep it in. Back to Johansson. The Tigers just chipping it around. Now back in defensive 53 Galley. He'll switch across the face of goal. And he's got Curran in the right back pocket. So back to where we started. And Curran finds Bradley. Bradley the skipper, chip short, looking for Carter, just missed the target, couldn't take it. Manhandled Edwards there, good follow-up work by Edwards, just put pressure on the handball, missed the target, current in there to lend support. Back now to Bradley, and the captain will clear from half-back. Down towards half-forward, but Joe Anderson comes over the top, knocks it away, well gathered by Bailey, inboard he goes to Earl. Earl steadies up, gives it away to Jolly, we know he's an elite kick. This time he just couldn't find Alloway, had to come from behind, that was brave from the North Adelaide player at the front and eventually it's over the boundary line just ahead of half back for the Roosters. Great courage by Andy Reid knowing that Clint Alloway was bursting out barrel chested to stand in the hole. It was a, a great uh, effort by the former Norwood player and the former double blue junior. So the ball's run in. Ob's got his way to the front. Didn't have an effective tap down. Still it's caught in. Eventually cleared away by O'Keefe. That was lucky. Fell in the lap of one of his own players. Then it's off to Amato. An inside 50. Beautiful kick finds Ryswick. Ryswick will turn around and send it long towards Shillabier. Running across the goal face. He takes it on the chest over his shoulder. So Shillabier will have a shot at goal. He's only about 20 metres out. And he's 45 degree angle. Maybe not even that severe. In fact, he's gone too far to the right. If the umpire was actually signalling a little bit, he could straighten up. Absolutely, but he's absolutely puffing at the moment. Pretty exhausted. A lot of up and back leading by Shillabier. And it was good play, good open space by the Roosters. So Shillabier for his second of the afternoon. And in fact, the second of the game. He comes in, belts it pretty hard. Umpire's happy behind the goals. His hands up straight away to say, I think I need to come off after that. <laughs> Darren Shillabier. So he's down on the haunches now, recovering. And there's two goals on the board for North Adelaide. So 2-2-14 for the Roosters and Glenelg just the one behind and remembering the Bays were first to score on the four, at the four minute mark and we've now travelled through, what's that, 13 minutes in this opening term. So a good start for North Adelaide, conversely for Shillabier, of course kicked seven on debut at league level for the Roosters. Mature age recruit, recruit rather, 25 years of age as Crossy said from Port Augusta. Back in the middle, Carter won the hit out for the Tigers but clearance comes through the avenue of Max String inside 50, looking for Ryswick, put in some space, good tackle Agnew. Ball spills the way of Amato, Hambles back out of attacking 50, back to Edwards, he'll put it into the hot spot. At the back O'Brien, at the front, good work, Pitt applied the spoil, follows up, the kick was partially smothered though, Spiner in there. Former Crows rookie was taken high, that was a dangerous bump there by Agnew. Spiner taken very high and in a bit of trouble on hands and knees. He's going to get up and get the free kick. He's about 15, 20 metres out on a slight angle underneath the scoreboard that shows his Roosters leading by 30 points. And that was just dangerous by Agnew there, Crossy. It was. It's just one of those unfortunate things, though. There was no intent on it. It was no. just uh, going for the ball, and Spiner had just turned around at the wrong moment or the right moment, and he just copped it a little bit high. I thought for a moment when he got up he was struggling. He might have been a little bit dazed, but... 
No, regain the senses, lining up for the third for North. So Spina now, Omic Gazer Jr. comes in and has missed. Pushed it to the left, just didn't really kick through it and dragged it away. So behind to the Roosters, Spina's first. 2 3 15 are North Adelaide. Glenelg moved to one behind. And we have travelled just under 10 minutes in this first quarter. So margin 14 points. And the Bays from defence, they work it pretty well out to Galley. Galley backs up on the 50. So opportunity to come this grandstand side of the ground. Galley with a short pass, very short. I thought that was about 12 metres, but <laughs> umpire said that was okay. The man he went to was Woodall, so Woodall patient waiting drops it short umpire says that one which was a longer kick longer than the other one was actually <laughs> not a mark play on so he did so howard sent it down the line it's still on this grandstand side of the ground kick back from north adelaide back inside 50 howard races back oh he just under pressure fumbled the ball at the wrong time it went across the boundary line fortuitously because ryswick was set to pounce for north adelaide it's about 25 around from the goal face in the right forward pocket for north adelaide the ball ready to be thrown in in the snouts louts pocket here at glider roll stadium glenelg oh, the ruckman really won a decisive hit out the attempted toe poke came from schultz just over running it was the glenelg youngster in woodall a lot of numbers around the footy a pack forms at the top of the goal square north players wanting holding the ball umpire hosking comes in and says my footy 25 30 out from the goal north adelaide kicking to the northern end southern end rather slight advantage with the breeze as crossy said Shillabier took the ruck work. Good work by Carter, though. Took possession, handled it back to Bradley. Pounced on immediately by his opponent in Thring. Of course, that's Max, his brother George, out of the side. And there's a bit of afters happening. And a love loss there between Thring and Bradley. Umpire does the right thing and gets play underway. Carter, unopposed, wins the hit out. It's only as far as Reed, though. He tries to trap it, gets a handle back to the voice, but it missed the target. Bradley intercepts, brushes off the attempted Motlop tackle, and the Tigers are away. There's nothing ahead of them, though. Forward of centre. The kick from the player there in Bailey went out into some space. Over the top now, trying to run onto it, McIntyre. Pressure down there from his opposing 37 in Gorman. Spins back around as McIntyre comes back out of defensive, of attacking 50, rather. Well trapped by Agnew. Short pass inside 50. Travelled the required distance. And it's marked there about 45 out directly in front by James Hinge. And it was not pretty crossy that the Tigers effective in the end of getting a shot on goal. No, well, they were looking for that fast break football. But as they streamed forward of half back, as they streamed forward from there, you looked up and I think it was Darcy Bailey who had nobody to kick to who was in any way deep except three Roosters players. And that's why they went sideways. And eventually they managed to get it into the hands of a player for a shot at goal. So James Hinge now, just his 11th game, will kick from just outside 50. It's a high up and under kick. It's not going to make the distance. The breeze holding it up, coming through barrel chested. Malira crumbs, slaps around the body and kicks a ripper. The mark there on the goal line dropped by James Craig. Malira crumbed it front and square. We know the class of him. And Terry Malira puts through the Tigers first of the afternoon. His first as well. Glenelg moves to 1-1-7. North Adelaide 2-3-15. We have travelled 16 minutes in this first term. And dropping a chess mark in defence, Crossy, a cardinal sin. Well, in those situations too, you know, the big ruckman who has the opportunity to come out and take the ball and to allow it to come off his chest so easily. And then it's a chaos situation. And Malira was first on it. And he yep. gee, read it well. And he's a two-sided player. And so the goal resulted. So back in the middle, Craig with a tap down. Bays will go forward again, though. Pitt just snaps it as best he can all the way to full forward. Scott was going at the ball, fell over. Johansson with the rove. The snap over the shoulder. Oh, he's got another one. Or at least the Tigers have. Well done by the Tigers. Well done by Johansson. So the two former Magpies players in Malira and Johansson have got all the scores for Glenelg. And Glenelg move along. It's North Adelaide 2-3-15. And Glenelg now 2-1-13. It's a good work by Johansson there. Second youngest player to make his league debut for Port Magpies, I think ahead of Gavin Wanganeen. And of course, state under 18's captain last year for SA. Kicks his first on the afternoon. Two small crumbing forwards getting the goals for the Tigers. We're back in the middle. Two point margin in favour of the visitors. Another well, Ruckman won a clear hit out. Looked like the player in hinge down in there. It looks like he's moved into the ruck for the Tigers. He was taken in a tackle and still inside the centre circle. We'll have a secondary ball up. Umpire throws the footy. Third man up for the Tigers was Pitt. Puts it into some space, but Reed from North Adelaide ran onto it. Gave the handle backwards there to Anderson. High up and under kick. Good work down there, Galley. Good spoil front position. Obst at the back. 
Joseph there also to lend some support, and the umpire says throw the footy in. Just left to your commentary position here at Glider Roll Stadium on the SNFL video stream. Neil Cross and Phil Aspinall, your commentary team. Uh, all thrown in. Craig, one out of North Adelaide. First possession to O'Keefe. The rush kick inside 50, though. Marked on the chest by Glenelg's defender there in Curran. Hambles backwards now to Joseph. Into the middle of the ground. He's got a teammate there in Merritt. Hambles off after taking the mark. Running with him is Snook. Back there to Curran. Providing good dash from half back. Kicks a good one, and it found Scott. Playing on quickly of the Tigers. He hambled in board to the player in... Agnew, but the kick missed the target and it was intercepted in defence by the Roosters. They're now running out of defensive 50. And it's with O'Keefe. He chips to halfback grandstand side. He's got Schillerbeer. Long way from full forward where he's kicked his two goals. Schillerbeer just holds up play right in front of the player's interchange area. Down the line he goes. Wasn't the greatest of kicks. Galley got his hands to the ball. Ryswick got his hand to the ball, tapped it forward down the line. And then Omato, Omato took it over the line in the end. Just ran out of space. We'll wait for that throw in to come. Approaching time on. In fact, it is time on. 20 minute mark of the opening term. Roosters had done the job early. Bays have come back in the last couple of moments. O'Keefe out of the pack with the ball, taking it across the centre of the ground. Edwards, loose hand pass. Malira oh. now he's away. Nobody in front of him can take a couple of bounces towards goals. He takes his second. He's inside 50 and he kicks it. Goal starts it right in the middle of the goals. The breeze takes it. Minus score. Bad luck for the Bays. Or you might say bad kicking. Just couldn't finish the job. So it's only a one point margin now in favour of North Adelaide. The Bays have come back into this match very much in the latter half of the opening term. So Clisby will take the kick out duties for the Roosters. Back in the Santa Fe after seven games of AFL with Melbourne. At the back there, Joseph took a big attempted hanger. Couldn't quite bring it down. A, a handball came out from Miles. Off to spin it in some spaces, Amato. He's got a teammate over the top. Leaving him was Agnew. Good work, though, by Amato. Get the handball to Ryswick. Missed the target. Good pressure. Galley coming into lens support nicely was Joseph. Former Carlton player does well. Clears defensive 50 with a kick. Two on one. The big fella, Craig Woodle at the back. Couldn't quite bring it in. Now does well to follow up. Hambles back to a teammate there in Earl. Spins out of trouble. Hamble back to the youngster in Woodall. Like the look of him early. Gets felled after getting rid of it. And then the kick came out from Bradley. That kick was a poor one though. And it's cut off by Greg. North Adelaide moved down towards centre wing. Grandstand side through Miles. The kick came from Greg. Miles marked it. Just slowing the tempo down now. As Crossy said, we're a couple of minutes into time on. Hambles now to the running Motlop. Played state footy a couple of weeks ago for SA. The kick down the line's a good one. It's an equally as good a mark from Max Thring. Right half forward. Goes back in board and squares it up to O'Brien. Just slipped as he took it. Putting some pressure on the mark there. Lockie Earl. Then O'Brien off the non-preferred left. A beautiful pass inside 50. Finds Amato on a slight angle about 48 metres out. And on his non-preferred, Jesse O'Brien, Neil Cross, showed some skill there. And good patience too from North Adelaide because it didn't seem they had a lot the Bays had their defensive set up and in fact they went down the line and that was right into the teeth of the defensive setup, of course and the kick from Motlop that started it all was pretty good that found Max String out here on the right half forward line. So Amato shot on goal, it's trying to work back, he started at left, just misses to the left hand side, another behind for North, they move to 2-4-16, they are four, two points in front of Glenelg, 2-2-14. Two, two, we have travelled 23 minutes in this first quarter. Bays take the ball in short. And that's the way that sides go these days. And gee, it's dangerous if you do a kick like that. It was over the head of Earl. Craig came in the big ruck, but he couldn't get a clean disposal. Umpire said play on. Jolly on the ground for Glenelg. No clean possession coming out. Finally comes to Edwards. And then Edwards popped the hand pass over the top to Thring. And Thring's taken to ground in a tackle. It's inside 50, though. And the Tigers will be a little bit nervous with that ball inside defensive 50. As we close in on quarter time, we've gone through 20 three minutes or thereabouts galley or, or rather it wasn't galley off the pack eventually it comes to pit by hand and then pit hand passes forward and they're away again and he's been impressive woodall as he runs forward wasn't the greatest of kicks but he followed up pretty well, well. pushed off an opponent gave it across eventually to earl who got it from agnew and then back to pit and he just thumps it long looking for josh scott who got his way to the front couldn't take the mark under pressure and the Roosters get a foot to the ball and they might be able to clear it away. They leave it for Motlop. He's their preferred kicker, obviously, out of defence. That looked like a throw. The umpire said no. And so the Bays are able to keep it in their defensive, or in their attacking 50, I should say, in the left forward pocket. And we are approaching quarter time and the Bays trail by two points, a chance maybe to go in front before the bell. 
So the ball thrown in, double fisted punch there by Miles in the direction of Greg. Still into 50, 50, the defensive 50 rather, the Roosters. Trying to get through the tackle there was Reed. He took on his opponent, and Johansson rewarded with a great tackle, holding the footy against Reed. Probably too far out to score for the little man. Reed standing about 50 metres from goal. Johansson, a great tackle by him. Just looking for an option. Alloway down there in attack. Just getting him to call, calling it for it in long, but the kick goes in board. Looking for Earl. Flew early. Ball comes to ground level. Good work, Motlop, sweeping out of defence. Hambles over the top to O'Brien. Threads a handball through to Spina. Just took it, went without it and did follow up nicely to get a handball back there to Greg. Then the kick down the line. Half forward, grandstand side. Centre wing, rather. It was marked by Rise. Wicked dangerous kick in board. Well done, O'Brien. Takes the mark under some pressure from Bailey. O'Brien now called to play on. We'll kick inside 50. Down there, Schillerbeer shields his eyes from the sun. Takes another mark. So Darren Schillerbeer causing a few headaches down in attack for the Tigers. Has marked about 30 out directly in front. Can line up for his third goal. And that was good kick in inside 50 by O'Brien again, Crossy. Yeah, but you have to wonder what was happening for the Bays there because I looked up at what he had to kick to. It was one-on-one -on -one down the ground. Schillerbeer had the arm out signalling where he wanted the ball. And then O'Brien kicked the ball and Galley had just completely <laughs> lost where Shillabier was. Well, Shillabier now knows where he is. He's lining up from directly in front, but he's pushed it to the right. A poor miss from Shillabier. Two goals, one now on the day for the Port Augusta native. And North Adelaide moved to 2-5-17. Glenelg 2-2-14. Nearing quarter time, 25 gone. And the Tigers have taken the kick out. And then the right back pocket with Brad Agnew. Agnew keeps it on the outer side. Keeps it well on the outer side. He's looking for some of his fans in the crowd, I think, but it's over the boundary line on the full, so Todd Miles will take the free kick for North Adelaide. Miles around, 60 from goal. Oh, off the side of the boot, puts it to the top of the forward 50. Comes off hands, base of a player there, but he's surrounded. Craig was one of the tacklers there, and the other one was Schultz, so we'll get a ball up, 40 out, straight in front of the Roosters' goal. Third man up, tries to knock it forward, succeeds. Bradley comes through, the skipper for the Bays, clears the 50. Just Johansson picks it up pretty well. They've got numbers on the far side now. One of them is Bailey. Bailey immediately goes outside to Jolly, who takes the mark. Jolly on centre wing, inside the forward 50 to Scott. Oh. Jeez, he took a good mark and a fair amount of pressure there. And he got the hands up and was able to take it away from Clinch. So he's marked at about 40, maybe a little bit less, probably 35 metres out, 45 degree angle. And right half back. He's handed it off. Yep, straight off to Howard. And Howard's gone thump with his left foot, and that's oh. hit the post. Aimed it at the left post, and he hit the left post, did Howard. So Scott obviously wasn't super confident over that distance with the breeze. But Howard was. The trouble was he, his aim was too good. He went thump off the boot, and it went thump into the, the uh, goal post. And North Adelaide take the kick out. They've gone into the cricket wicket pocket. And Clisby's marked. He's gone short. Finds O'Keefe, plays on quickly, clears defensive 50. Good work down there by Curran. Puts a spoil on, but the ball spills out the back. Great work, Agnew. Outnumbered, taken in a tackle as the quarter time siren sounds. Ends a pretty entertaining opening quarter. Skill level not great from both sides, but in the end, North Adelaide able to hold a small lead at the first change. It's the Roosters 2 5 17, Glenelg 2 3 15. That first quarter going just a tick over 26 minutes. So we have a look at the goal kickers for both sides. Darren Schillerbeer. The sole goal kicker for the Roosters with two. Terry Malira and Jake Johansson, the little men for the Tigers with one apiece. So repeating those scores at quarter time. It's North 2-5-17, Glenelg 2-3-15. We'll have a short break and be back with you in for this second quarter in about five minutes. It's going, but when you look at that and you say, well, a two-point advantage for that amount of possession or, or that weight of possession forward of the play and yep. having 19 inside 50s but only having seven scoring shots, and Glenelg, on the other hand, five scoring shots from nine inside 50. So it does also show that with that, perhaps because of the breeze, but also that's the way the Bays are going to play. They're going to try and have those players behind the ball and then rush it forward. And yep. so they won't have a lot of inside 50s to work with. They are number six for attack in the league. So that's actually what they do do well, the Bays. They're last in defence and they're playing <laughs> the ninth place team in defence in North Adelaide as well. So... Interesting contest, only a couple of points the difference. North Adelaide 2-5, Glenelg 2-3 at quarter time as we're underway in the second term. Umpire tests out that cricket pitch in the middle of the ground and found it to be very hard. Motlop out of the centre, hand pass to his teammate in Clinch. Clinch's kick was smothered, 
good position, good effort by Nicholson, and then he got it off to Agnew, and inside 50, the bays go. Miles oh. just slipped over at an inopportune time with the ball. He's a right. He's in their right defensive pocket, and then he kicks a wide. Did he kick it too wide? What's the umpire said? He said it was out on the full, so he got it outside 50 miles, but Edwards took the mark over the line, so it'll go to Andrew Bradley, the captain of the bays. He has a look. You'd think he might make the distance with the breeze. He comes around on the right foot and hooks it. He hooks it towards goal and right on the line. I think it's over. Well, Andrew Bradley looked like he didn't have any confidence at all, and now the umpire has paid a free kick. Party pooper. Yes, well, there was a big decision to be made, and I think it was well over the line, but the umpire's ruled there was a push there, and it was Alloway who had pushed Joe Anderson. So Anderson will take the free kick in his defensive goal score. He looks to this side of the ground, waits, shrug of frustration, then eventually kicks the ball towards the boundary line, and... James Craig, the Ruckman, comes across, knocks it away from young Josh Scott and over the line, 50 from defensive goal for North Adelaide. Bit of push and shove around the packs, but gee, that was a close run thing and Andrew Bradley had no confidence and then he made it from 50. And unfortunately, Alloway just tried to take the specky mark, gave away the free, the ball's been thrown in. First possession there to Craig Carter, overran it. The handball came back in the direction of Big Craig. The player taken high for North Adelaide was Clinch. Double tackle from the Tigers, Carter and Curran. In fact, it was Pitt and Car Carter that clinched the former Port Magpie. Wins the free, chips back into his defensive goal line. And it's marked there by Thring. Right back pocket underneath the scoreboard that shows the Roosters leading by two points. He'll come to half back. Well done by Edwards. Well done equally, though, by Bradley. Edwards follows up, gets the handball, which was partially smothered. Off to Bradley again. The skipper take two down towards Alloway. Uh, Malira, rather. Great spoil, though, by Miles. The former Eagle comes in and applies a fist over the boundary line. In the left forward pocket, it's going to be thrown in. But desperation there from Miles, a great effort to get a fist on it, Crossy. Had to be done. Malira was basically, the next movement was to be turning around to his left and kicking a goal if he'd taken that ball. So the ball thrown in. Up goes Miles. Good work, Alloway. Great uh, crumbing there. Great roving there by Johansson. Snaps truly for his second. Perfect set play there by the Tigers. Clint Alloway, the veteran, against his former club, just hit it over his head into some dangerous space. Johansson, the speedster, ran onto it. Snap truly for his second, and the Tigers take the lead. They move to 3 3 21. North Adelaide 2 5 17. We've travelled two minutes in this first term, and that was perfectly executed set play by the Tigers, Neil. Oh, it was. That's the ruck work that you want when a plan comes together. So the Tigers have back the lead that they had very briefly in the opening. What was it, the opening four minutes of the quarter? They just grabbed a minor score to Malira, so that gave them the lead, and it's been a a North Adelaide game since then. So back in the middle, and a clearance comes from Craig, and he picked it up, but then he was swamped. He got a hand pass out. Schultz took it for North Adelaide, taken to ground on centre wing. And it was Darcy Bailey with the tackle. So umpire comes in, says, I'll have it. Ball in the air. Motlop out the back of the pack. Did it pretty well, got it back to Clinch. Clinch looked wide and then decided he'd just hoof it down the ground. He did it pretty well. Schillerbeer comes over the top and takes the mark. Curran at the, at the front did the right thing, but Schillerbeer was too strong. His, his inward-looking kick wasn't fantastic. They get away with it North Adelaide briefly, but then Josh Scott comes through, gives it to Carter. Kick was partly smothered as Carter kicked it back into the centre square. North Adelaide will come again. Looked like Craig was taken high. Shrugged the tackle, but the umpire said no. James Craig with a free kick immediately by hand back to Motlop. Centre of the ground goes forward, long and direct. And Joseph spilt the mark. And then Obst came in, looked like he might have been tripped. Gave the head pass to Schultz. And another one fired out. Amato over the top. And he's on the line. He just can't get it across for a score. Couldn't get a foot to the ball. The Bays will take it away. It's marked in the left back pocket by the player in Howard. Good work on that last line defensively by the Tigers. Amato... Having a bit of a wrestle down in the uh, goal line along with Alan Obst and Galley. The Tigers went short and Howard found his teammate there in the player former Carlton boy in Joseph. Kicks down the line. It's almost marked by McIntyre. Just dropped it. Follow-up effort. Good work, Spina. But he did apply a tackle when the player in McIntyre didn't take possession. So a free kick. Going, away, going to Tim McIntyre. His ninth game of league footy this afternoon. Go short. It's a nice pass and found Agnew. Tigers have some run now through the middle of the ground. Snook over the top. There to Jollies. In plenty of time and space. Former Gold Coast Sun. Goes inside 50. Down towards the goal line. Miles getting back right on the goal line. Takes a strong mark. It was a good kick by 
Jolly, but Miles is marked. Defensive goal line. Josh Scott down there in attack now for the Tigers. But Miles, the kick was a poor one. Intercepted nicely by Agnew. Tried to burst through the Edwards tackle. Hamble's back there now to Bailey. Gets a handball back in the direction of Nicholson. Overran it. Schultz there for North Adelaide. Putting some pressure on in there. Also Earl for the Tigers on hands and knees. The umpire just says there's nothing going your way, Chris Curran. I'm going to bounce it up for you. So the ball bounced up about 40, about 55 out from the Tigers goal. They're kicking to the southern end. And Maliri extracts it, just gets the ball to boot. 25 from goal, not a bad kick, good plays. Alloway on the ground, after the ball, had it twice. Fick then a hand pass. It's come to Johansson from Earl, and Earl snaps cleanly for a goal. Or Johansson, I should say, snaps cleanly for a goal. It was Earl who gave it to him. And so the Bays have another one. And they move along to four goals, 3.27. North Adelaide, 2.5.17. And right now, North Adelaide coaching box will be ruining the mistakes they made, or not them, but their players, made in the opening term when they had their opportunities in front of goal. It was a great snap again, as you say, by Johansson. And unfortunately for young North Adelaide defender Josh Gregg, just coming off the uh, ground at the moment, copped a knee in the back as a uh, pack flew. And sadly for Josh Gregg, last year he missed a fair bit of footy with a perforated bow. That's in the direction where he was need again. He's just getting helped off by the uh, North Adelaide trainer. So back in the middle. Up goes Craig. P player pushed off the footy, I thought was Glenelg. Player in Curran, but it's actually going to go the way now of Earl. He's won the free kick. So Lachlan Earl in the centre of Glider Roll Stadium, the cricket wicket area. Goes inside 50. Alloway up one handed. Good work down there by the player in Cameron Craig. Now with Clinch. Hamble's back in board there to O'Keefe. Evades around his opponent. We'll look for that non preferred right boot, and he does pass it nicely to Edwards. Off running now are the Roosters. And it's Anderson that plays. The footy out towards half forward. Great pair of hands there by Schillerbeer. Certainly been amongst North's best players early. Just come up with a uh, struggling look, like a bit of a hand injury there, but he continues on. And the kick off the boot is a poor one. Wobbles towards the 50 metre arc where it joins the boundary line over there in the right forward pocket. It's going to be thrown in. Score check. Glenelg 4 3 27. North 2 5 17. Two quick goals in this first, second term rather, to Johansson. Umpire throws the footy in. Up goes Galley. Taken immediately there by Motlop, but Galley does well. Taken down in a tackle by Obbs. Prior opportunity was given there to Galley. An incorrect disposal sees Alan Obbs win the free four, holding the footy. About 45 out is Obbs. He'll have to kick it from just outside the paint of 50. Being brought around on the mark now by the umpire. Obbs decides to go short inside 50 on the lead. Shillaby, good spoil down there. Current taken by Nicholson. Gets a handball back, though, only in the direction of Shillaby. The snap around the body by the big man. Misses everything. Out of bounds on the full in the cricket wicket pocket. So left back pocket for the Tigers. A free kick will go the way of Merritt, I think it might be. And it's out of bounds on the full. It's going to go to Agnew. So the Tigers leading by 10 points. They've got the footy in defensive 50 with Brad Agnew. Agnew goes across the goal face to Jolly. Took the mark. Although there was a question about whether it was a half volley. They haven't gained much by doing what they did, though. Jolly now dangerously into the corridor. Agnew was free. Then he goes by hand to Malira. Still in defensive 50. Tries to push around one. Forced a hand pass just into space after that. Wasn't the greatest of decisions by Malira. And then taken to ground in a tackle was James Hinge. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. And after all that, they've managed to get the ball about 70, 80 metres from goal of Bays. But they're still at left half back. And that's where the ball will be thrown up on the far side of the Bay Oval. Coming through as O'Keefe, and his fend-off was high, said the umpire. And so as a result, it'll be a free kick to Earl for uh, Glenelg. So he'll take it at left half back, and he looks and waits, and nobody available. So he's forced to kick down the line and high. It goes in the direction of Scott, and Gorman comes over the top of Scott and knocks it over the boundary line. Just forward of centre wing for the Bays. Just since they've got a little bit of momentum behind them. 4 3 27 plays 2 5 17. Tigers in front, and we've gone through seven, nearly eight minutes in this second term. So the ball thrown in out of side. First possession there, well done by Anderson. Great handball, finds his teammate in Thring. Kicks to half forward. Schillerbeer, can he get there on this dive? Yes. Sliding in, no. Umpire deemed it hit the ground. Play on the call. Schillerbeer might not be too happy with that decision. I reckon the umpire was blindsided. Well, Schillerbeer slid in and covered. The uh, ball hitting the ground, had the binoculars right on it, and I thought he marked it. So umpire says, my footy, throws it up. Cardell took it out of the ruck unopposed. Glenelg moved forward. Scott taps it on towards half forward, but it's only as far as Craig of North Adelaide. Good work in there, Hamble. Partially smothered, though. Miles 
Got it eventually. Gave it back there to Craig. Now off to Clinch. He gives to Clisby now. Defensive 50. Mitch Clisby kicks it towards the wing. Out of side. Handball there came from Schultz. Just overshot the target in Edwards. Has the support there in Reed. Short pass. Barely travels the 15. Marked there by Ryswick. Good run on again by Anderson. Handball came from uh, Ryswick into Anderson. Now inside 50 to Schillerbeer. He looks to be cramping up. Crossy has done so much running, Darren Schillerbeer, this afternoon. Just looks like he's getting a bit of cramp in the legs. Yeah, but let's, let's face it, it's early in the second term. He shouldn't be cramping up. No, exactly. And as a full forward, of course, the cramp is not going to stop him from going back and having a shot at goal. <laughs> not when he's directly in front, about 40 out. So Schillerbeer lining up now for his third. Two goals, one on the afternoon. Kicking down to that northern end. The ground bathed in sunshine. A step inside 50. It's another wobbly kick. His kicking hasn't been great this afternoon. And marked down there defensively by Galley. Handball's off to Bradley and the Tigers are away. Bradley goes to the outer side of the ground. Missed his target by a long way. And his target out there was Tim McIntyre. Ball over the boundary line. So again, the Bays clear their defensive zone. Same trend as the opening quarter though. You'd think that North Adelaide might be dominating the inside 50s but unable to put a score on the board. Absolutely. We'll get those stats shortly but just from down at Norlunga, a score update. South 1-5-11. The Eagles 3-2-20. That's 12 and a half minutes into the second term. Obviously a breeze blowing down there too as the ball's thrown back into play. Pitt was on the ground so Earl picked it up for Glenelg but he's tackled. A couple of players. One of them James Craig, the big ruckman. He wasn't getting away. Umpire comes in. Umpire ready to put the ball in the air again and Bradley third man up knocks it away but straight into the arms of one of his opponents in Clisby and Clisby inside 50 he goes deep with the kick awkward bounce now it comes to Schillerbeer bounce was good for him and the snap was good as well and the Tigers have another Schillerbeer has his third North Adelaide have three and it's 4-3-27 for the Bays and 3-5-23 for North Adelaide and we're approaching if not just over the 11 minute mark of this second term. Seems to be better kick for goal when uh, under pressure and uh, not having a set shot. Just uh, occasionally on the last couple of set shots, Darren Schillerbeer, the ball just not dropping off the boot nicely. But a good story is Darren Schillerbeer. is a corrections officer up at the Yatla Prison, played in the Central Augusta League, won three premierships over there. And as we said earlier, a mature age crew to SNFL. And he's got all of North Adelaide's goals in this opening term. Umpire just checking with Max Thring in this second term. Opening half. Opening half, rather. <laughs> I'll get it right. Third time lucky. Umpire just gave the ball to Max String to check that the air was okay in it. Looked a little deflated to me. Play has resumed. Ryswick couldn't quite take it. Ball spills in the direction of Nicholson. Does well. The handball over the top to Curran. He's taken in a great tackle by Marlon Mutlop. Umpire deemed to have no pro opportunity. Benefit of the doubt going the way of Curran. In between half forward and 50. Down in this right forward pocket. The ball's thrown up. Curran. Wrapped up Motlop in a tackle, did get a handball out. Flicked down towards the boundary line by Josh Scott. He's opposing number 15 in Nicomato, guiding it over. About 55 from goal. Snouts, louts, pocket here at Glider Roll. SNFL IGA League on the SNFL web stream. Phil Aspinall and Neil Cross with you. Ball thrown in. Ob's doing some rut work for the Roosters. It came the way there of O'Keefe. The quick kick around the body. Amato there as well with Thring. Good fighting down there by Pitt. Sees it over the line. We're going to have another ball up. Ball in, rather. 4 3 27 Argon Elb, North 3 5 23. We've travelled about 11 and a half, 12 minutes in this second term. Ball thrown in grandstand side. Obbs with the hit out over the top. Down there to Amato. Brushes around his opponent on that trusty left foot kick. Will go down to half forward in the front position. Galley took a nice mark. And he goes back inside defensive 50 where he finds a teammate there in Curran. Just that ball down the line then didn't advantage Schillerbeer with the kick, Amato. And Schillerbeer was looking for the ball over the top. He didn't get it. Meanwhile, Nicholson's led up, taken a mark. He looks back to centre wing. Scott dives into the ball, couldn't take it. And Anderson put his head down. Umpire said too high. Anderson did take the ball. And, well, it was one of those half and half ones. He gave the hand pass off to O'Keefe. O'Keefe, down the line he goes into the forward pocket. Strong mark taken there by Agnew for the Bays. Hand pass forward, went to Nicholson, didn't know where to go. Finally went backwards, defensive goal square all the way to Howard. Howard, beautiful oh, dummy nice. on his left foot, then runs away. He got rid of Max Thring fairly easily. Off the left foot now, into the centre corridor. Well done. The pass found Woodall. Bays are running. 
Outboard he goes to Howard again. He just chips it wide. Not sure about the veracity of taking that kick. Merritt now in a little bit of trouble, in a lot of trouble. He's called for holding the ball. And here come the other way, the Roosters, and they'll get inside forward 50 with a poor kick. Although Shillaby did slip, it must be said. Bradley took the mark, and he'll come out this side of the ground. Looking for a teammate in Nicholson, but that was a poor kick and chopped off beautifully by O'Keefe. And Reese O'Keefe, a good pair of hands. Mainly playing in defence this year, but seen him play through the midfield last year. One of those big-bodied midfielders, former Carlton listed player in 2011 and 2012, spent a few seasons on their list, was rookie listed eventually after being delisted by Carlton, just managed three AFL games. Lining up now for goal, his first. It'll be North Adelaide's fourth, down at the northern end, left forward pocket. Have to stab at the left post for this one. He listens to cross his instructions, but it's drifted across the face big time. Down there, Shillabir out number two to one. Thought Earl was lucky to not give away a free kick for a throw. In fact, it was Hinge. Tigers have some pace and patience to get it out of defensive 50. Earl now, beautiful pass, a beautiful mark taken by Joseph. He'll come back in board and find the player in Bailey. Halfback grandstand side are the Tigers. Kicking to that primary school or southern end. Patient build up, and they've gone short. Through Bailey, and he's found Nicholson. He plays on quickly now. North have some numbers back. No talk from Clinch. Should have let the player there in Clisby Market. Inside 50, go Glenelg. It's now with Woodall. Off there to the player in Jolly. Kick inside 50. Couldn't quite take the mark down there. Malira, good mopping up by Miles. The handball was a shocker. Missed the target over the top there. Intercepted McIntyre. Kicks it out of midair. Terrible handball from Todd Miles. Greg Gorman a little lackadaisic going towards it and intercepting Lee beautifully, soccering it off the ground. That'll make the highlights real on the recovery session. Tim McIntyre kicks truly for his first. A nice goal by the small forward, Crossy. Yeah, and you'd have to say you'd be disappointed looking at that hand pass from Todd Miles. A lot of experience, brilliant one-handed pickup, and then just a little bit lackadaisical with the hand pass and set up the opportunity for Tim McIntyre, who's good to swoop in, just hack it out of midair for the goal. Something to lift the base because North had taken back the advantage in the match, but now they're trailing again by 10 points. The key was Clinch and, and Clisby down here at half-back. Just no talk from the two teammates and just allow Glenelg to get the turnover. 17 minutes in, second term. Ball comes out of the middle, cleared towards centre wing. Nicholson comes and meets it, and he's met hard. Ball bounces away to McIntyre, and his kick down forward finds Josh Scott, and Scott goes bang from 50 and was never, ever in doubt. Brilliant take, looked at the goals and said, yep, I can kick this, and he does. 16-point lead for the Bays. They move along to six goals, 3.39 to North Adelaide's 3.5.23. We've got through 17 minutes, nearly 18 minutes in the second term. Great goal there from Josh Scott, as you called it, Crossy, a beautiful call. Good finish from just outside 50 in the snouts, louts, pockets. The uh, Glenelg fans uh, would have enjoyed that one. Once again, Tim McIntyre involved. Really liked his game so far. He's doing the, some of those little one percenters that sometimes do go unnoticed. It was a beautiful pass from him. The Tigers extending their lead now out to 16 points. We're back in the middle, underway. Umpire Mitch Scott resumes proceedings. It's a nice bounce. First hit out there ga came by Craig. Down to O'Brien. He's taken immediately in a tackle there by Earl. We'll have a ball up. Still inside the centre circle. Carter up against Craig. Craig does well. O'Brien tried to soccer it off the ground, as did Thring, but it only came the way of Earl. Hambles backwards now to Joseph. Right half back kicks towards the player there mentioned earlier in McIntyre. Fell through his fingers. Reed applying some pressure. Just sees it over to the sanctity of the boundary line. Just forward of centre wing. Grandstand side. Right in front of the SNFL live stream commentary team. The umpire's going to throw the footy back in. About 19 minutes, 18 minutes gone in this second term. 6 3 39 of Glenelg, North 3 5 23. O'Brien takes it away from the contest for North Adelaide. Cleaned up nicely there by Joseph. Hamble over the top to Pitt, then to Snook, taking in a pretty hard tackle there by Amato. Falls the way of Clisby, guides it over the boundary line. Take two, have another throw in. A little closer towards centre wing this time. Eagles extending their lead down there at Norlunga. They're out to a 29 point lead. 20 minutes into the second term. Back here at Glider Roll, ball thrown back in. Craig wins a hit out over the top there, taken nicely by Earl. Just missed the target in the handball. Good work, Virgin. Bursts his way through the tackle, gets a handball back into the direction of Spina. Gorman again a little fumbly, does well. Gets it out now towards Motlop. The rush kick falls into the lap there of Clisby. 
He kicks down towards half forward and drop there. T drop what he should have taken there was Schultz. Hambles back though to Virgin. Good support. Then a great smother by Howard. Just slipping over was Jolly. Ball spills back in the direction of Howard. Little fumbly. Then off to Merritt. Back into the middle of the ground. It's now with Snook. Snook looks up off the left foot inside forward. 50. Big lead from Alloway to Grabber. Under a little bit of pressure. But he was good enough to take the mark. Cameron Craig was right with him. And now he's disputing with the umpire all of a, a metre on the mark, <laughs> saying, well, no, it was here. And the umpire says, no, it was here. Galloway ended up with the benefit of the doubt, the extra metre. Let's see if that's going to make a difference. It shouldn't. Alloway is a big kick, and it is a fair breeze that is behind him. So Clint Alloway with 21 goals coming into this match for the season. He comes in from 55. He sends it straight. No. Just a little bit to the right, had the distance covered well and truly. Minor score for the Bays. They move along to 6440 North Adelaide, 3523. So Clinch will take the kick out now for North Adelaide. In fact, it looks to be Motlop. He's got Clinch in the left back pocket. Looked in that direction temporarily and then decides off a step to come grandstand side. Up goes Miles at the back merit. One, two, couldn't take it. Good work in there, Gorman. Good support by O'Keefe. Hands off to Clisby. A little indecisive. Here's the voice back in board of Anderson. Centre wing grandstand side. North have some numbers forward of the ball. Good work by O'Keefe. Kick inside 50. Looking for Amato. Down there, Joseph. Down there as well, Schulz. Applies a tackle to Galley. Didn't take possession. Amato could have been tripped. Umpire says play on advantage, does he? Ball spills in the direction there of Ryswick. Gets a handball back out in the direction of Edwards. Inside 50. Off to Shillaby. Off the non-preferred left. It's a high up and under kick. Obbs comes in for the fly. Couldn't take it. Good work, Galley. Down there now to Nicholson. Looking for Merritt, couldn't take it in the fingertips. Ball spills over the boundary line, right where the pain of 50 joins said line. Left forward pocket for the Roosters. Opportunity gone begging there, Neil. Absolutely, and Shillabir, having snapped a three goals already, looked up and thought, well, I'm going to try left foot. So it wasn't <laughs> really on for him or it didn't work for him. Let's put it that way. Now the Bay is breaking from the throw-in. It comes back to Agnew, and Agnew's kick was smothered by... Uh, Clisby in there. Now they send another hand pass out. Interesting decision by Bradley. Got away with it. Managed to get it to Nicholson. Now it's disputed again. And inside centre square. Well, a blind turn straight into a tackle. Oh, gee, got away with it too. The North Adelaide player there in Reed. He blind turned straight into a tackle. So we get a ball up inside the centre square. Comes to Snook. Tackled as he kicked. Falls to Earl. Tackle. Reed was the tackler. Now it comes back again out to Carter. Carter, oh, he gave it to Snook. He really set him up, but he got away with it again. Joseph, hand pass wide. He comes to Jolly. Jolly 70 from goal. Right half forward. Thumps it long towards the goal square, towards Alloway. Two come to him. Off the pack. Well taken by Agnew. Tries to roll the ball through for a goal, and instead he gets it out the other side and out of bounds in the left forward pocket for the Bays. 17 the margin. We're into time on second term. Bays lead it. They're kicking with the breeze in the second quarter after trailing by two points at quarter time. The left forward pocket, ball thrown in. Up goes Alloway. That set play again over the back, looking for Johansson. Just a little bit much on it. Overran it. Coming in nicely. Clinch. Hambles off there to Anderson. Now to O'Keefe. Clears defensive 50. Comes grandstand side, centre wing. Numbers and space ahead of the ball. Shillabier up in attack. Needs to trap it, does Omato. Then does. With the pass down towards half forward. Didn't find the target. Shillabier again off the non-preferred left. Again, the result not great. Still in play, though, and bounces over the boundary line. Just a couple of little skill executions gone begging there by the Roosters. This Clint Eastwood line, man's got to know his limits. <laughs> He's done that twice now, twice off the outside of the boot. The, the safer, the better option was to look in board on his right foot. Absolutely. Just get it inside attacking 50. The ball... Is just in 50. It's going to be thrown in left forward pocket down at that northern end. Shallow throw in. Obbs took front position. Agnew takes it. Taken immediately by two Roosters opponents. And we'll have a secondary stoppage. Ball to be thrown up. About 48, 49 out from goal. Left forward pocket, as I say. Public holiday footy here in the SANFL. In the IGA League. Neil Cross and Phil Aspinall, your commentary team. Over the top of the handball came... Glenelg off to Agnew. He was felled after he got rid of it. The kick to the middle of the ground. It's a race for pace between the two big men. Well done by James Craig. Gets the kick towards Shillabier. Getting plenty of possession, but a long way from goal. And the nice kick inside 50 is a beautiful one. Finds Amato, spots him up right forward pocket. 
Mato there did look to have stepped back in board. Play on the call now. He'll run around off that left boot. Put it towards the hot spot. Schulz down there takes it. No, play on. No, it is a mark. Is it going to go the way of, I think, Schulz, is it? No, it's going to go Thring. So Max Thring paid the mark. I thought Schulz had hands on it at the front, but tucked in the left forward pocket. Max Thring will be lining up, the vice captain of the footy club. Plays on, snaps around the body and misses across the face of goal. So through for a behind. North Adelaide's sixth on the afternoon. Three goals, 6-24 are the Roosters. Glenelg 6-4-40. We are four and a half minutes into time on here in the second quarter. Bays bring it quickly. By the way, that was the Roosters' first score since the 11-minute mark. Ball floats over the back. They're at half back now. And defensively, Clinch goes back into defensive 50 to Miles. Miles with a terrible kick. It came off the instep, and three Bays players were waiting for it. Jolly was one of them. Hand pass to Snook. Wasn't a great decision. Snook under pressure gave it up. Motlock came the other way. Then the hand pass off to O'Brien, and then he gave it off. And oh, gee, again, some poor skills from the Roosters. It's on centre wing now, grandstand side, and they've just about turned it over. Motlock came in and rescued the situation. They've done all right. They've managed to get it down to Amato at half forward. He's on his natural left foot 50 out squares the ball brilliantly and the mark is taken just 25 meters out and that will be virgin who's taken the mark for the roosters and he will go back and have a look at goals not a great angle to speak of really and he should be able to slot it through although again there has been some problems at that end of the ground kicking at the goals yeah definitely needs to aim at left as you called earlier neil but it was laborious again from the roosters just some basic skills missing targets but good work there by amato in the end did find virgin inside 50 and lining up for his first goal on the afternoon so virgin comes in starts it at the middle of the goals floats to the right <laughs> for the minor score so just pretty much is what you'd expect if you'd gone to school on previous kicks to that end of the ground. So a minor score, and they just narrow the margin slightly north Adelaide, but they're disappointed with the, the efficiency going forward. 15 the margin in favour of the Bays, close to half time now, 28 minutes gone. Jolly took the kick out, went to the left back pocket and found Curran. He clears defensive 50, but it's only as far now as Clisby out of side, takes the mark. Just forward to centre wing, kicks to half forward right, and he's found O'Brien. So Jesse O'Brien, back from the reserves last week, goes inside 50. Obbs takes a pack mark. Right as the siren sounds, we hear the thud in the background of coach Matty Locken. Not happy with that, but that was a spectacular contested mark by Alan Obbs. And he's marked at about 30 metres out directly in front. As someone has forgot to take their finger off the siren, quarter time, half time siren button, they do so now. That's because the umpires hadn't actually acknowledged that. Uh, yes, heard it. yes, correct. So well done. So Alan Obbs marked, as I said, just before the siren sounded. Lining up now for his third. Scores uh, Glenelg 6-4-40. North Adelaide 3-7-25. We know the Tigers will remain on that score. North having a shot after the halftime siren with Alan Obst. Yet to register a score this afternoon. Comes in now. Steps inside 50. Will kick from about 40. Just stabs at it. Starts at left and it keeps moving to the left. So through for a behind. Missed opportunity by the Roosters. And they move to 3-8-26. Glenelg 6-4-40. That'll remain the scores at the halftime change. The Tigers in front now by 14 points. Alan Obbs missing that shot after the quarter time siren. So repeating those halftime scores, Glenelg 6 4 40, North Adelaide 3 8 26. Here on the SNFL live stream, we'll have a break and be back in about 20 minutes for all the halftime second half action. Game. They had 19 inside 50s in the opening quarter but could only lead by, or 1950s to nine, inside 50s to nine, it could only lead by two points with the breeze. And then the second term, things evened up again, but North Adelaide still 12 opportunities inside 50 into the breeze. Glenelg with only nine inside 50s with the breeze. <laughs> and yet the Bays have now stretched that margin. Well, it was out to, what, 17 points at one stage, but it's 14 points now at half time. So... A lot of work for North Adelaide to do on the basics and I have to say the same for the Tigers, but if they can just get a few skills right inside 50, like kicking for goal, yeah. you'd think that North Adelaide could still come away with the win. Remembering we're looking at uh, North 8th on the ladder and Glenelg 10th, and really at the moment they're living up to those positions. They are indeed. We'll find out what transpires in this second half. Your first caller in the third term will be Neil Cross. Waiting on the umpire as he pauses and he's going to bounce it. And he perfect bounce onto the perfect pitch out there. 
don't know if you'd want to fall on it. It comes towards Snook. He went backwards with the hand pass. It wasn't fantastic. As a result, it's turned over. And North Adelaide through Virgin just handballs inside forward 50. Coming through, Josh Scott picks it up. Good hand pass out to Joseph for Glenelg. Goes out towards centre wing, goes wide. And the wind takes it out of bounds. And the umpire says, was that deliberate? No. Not in SANFL football. Lee Ryswick turned around asking the umpire for deliberate to be paid. But noticeably a little darker and gloomier here at uh, Glider Old Crossy. The clouds just drifting down towards us at the southern end here. And uh, yeah, the light out there, just a little duller. Forecast was for showers late this afternoon. So we might see that. Although I must admit when halftime started, I thought, oh, gee, we've got a blue sky. It looks OK. But yeah, in the last 15, 20 minutes, it's come in. We started the game in 16 degrees. Might be a little bit lower than that now. But not a bad crowd, certainly, to watch this match. And it's got a lot to do with the Hall of Fame for the Bays last night and, of course, celebration of their 1985 premiership this afternoon as well. So the ball down at half forward now for North Adelaide, taken and given away to Thring from Obst. An inside 50, good kick and well taken, going back against the flow. And that was well done by Amato. So Nick Amato in the left forward pocket will have a shot at goal for North Adelaide. It'll be a badly needed goal because, as we've said, three goals, eight, not a good enough return from the number of forward 50 entries they've had. Yeah, exactly right. And it was a great kick inside 50. Equally as good, though, was the mark from Amato. We know he's a left footer. It's on the non-preferred side if you're in the uh, left pocket. But an important shot on goal for the Roosters. Amato comes in and he was happy with it off the boot. Straight away he was into the celebration, and rightly so. So the Roosters get an early one in the third term. 6 4 40 for Glenelg, and the Roosters move along to 4 8 32. We've gone through just a minute in this second half. Important for North Adelaide to get a good start, and they did so through Amato, becomes North Adelaide's second goal kicker. She'll be it with their three up to half time, and a good start for North, as I say. Key now will be to back it up this next centre clearance. Very critical. One of the clearance specialists for the Tigers, Sam Lonigan, not out there today with a bit of a groin injury. So we're back underway. Craig wins the hit out. Ricocheted off of Pitt. Came back towards Carter, but intercepted nicely by the big man in Craig. James Craig goes inside 50. Shillabier could have been taken over the shoulder. Good spoil defensively. Galley in the hands now of McIntyre. Comes to the snouts, louts pocket. Left back pocket for Nicholson. Traps it nicely. It's a beautiful pass onto the chest there of little Johansson. Long way from goals. Kick three this afternoon. Dangerous kick back in board. Sets it up for Agnew. Good pressure, Schultz, but a great mark, Agnew, in the end. Took it on the second, grab at his toes. Off now to Snook in the middle of the ground. Back there to Joseph. Kick towards Nicholson, who's ran on. Just couldn't find it. At half forward, he goes off the left foot inside Alloway. Wasn't great skill-wise, but in the end, Alloway marks. Goes back inside 50. Good run on again from Pitt. Loose checking by the Roosters defenders. That'll anger coach Ken McGregor. And Craig Pitt now lining up for his first shot on goal for the afternoon. He's marked it about 35, 40 metres out, just on a slight angle. Needs to start it at the left goal post, Neil Cross. His uh, joint winner of the best in Ferris last season, Craig Pitt, very underestimated. Comes in now with the kick, does start at the left post, does it beautifully, comes back with the breeze, splits the middle. So the opening goal in the second half for the Tigers goes to Craig Pitt. Their seventh, 7 4 46 are the Tigers. North Adelaide, 4 8 32. And we've travelled four and a half minutes in this third term. So back to that 14 point half time margin, or the margin that it was at half time. And yeah, not a bad start to the second half, you'd have to say, for both sides. This is the way it went in the first half, too. Just the inability of the sides to execute their skills. And when they did, uh, just able to take advantage, but not very often. As the ball's thumped down in the middle again, umpire will call that bounce straight away. And we'll just pause in play too because the umpire's decided he's got a shoelace that needs tying up. So <laughs> while all those things are going on, he throws the ball again up in the air and Craig will get a centre clearance. No, ball smothered, but it still comes his team's way to Ryswick and Ryswick down to half forward. Not a bad kick. Over the back it runs towards the boundary line. Now the tackle made on Amato, but he got the hand pass away to O'Keefe, who did well on his left foot. Dangerous, 25 from goals where the ball falls. Agnew couldn't take it. Now coming away with the hand pass to Shillabier, and then Shillabier over the shoulder, the snap at goal. It's a good one, and he's got his four. Yeah, Shillabier. 
unbelievable on the snap. Can't kick a straight ball, <laughs> 25 metres out. But on the snap, he's very good. So Glenelg 7-4-46, and North Adelaide move along to 5-8-38. Yeah, good goal from Shillaby, as you said. Called it nicely, Crossy. Can't really, isn't all that reliable in the set shot, deliberate approach to goal. But when uh, the ball's in play, the snap around the body was a good one. And he's kicked his fourth, as you say. Just his ninth game of league footy. Now has a goal, total goal tally of 24 at league level. We're back in the middle. Shillaby is fourth. Craig wins the hit out. Down to O'Brien. Hands it off to Motlop. Squeezes the handball out, but it's only as far as Howard. Taken and tackled by Spina. Gets the handball back, though, in the direction there of Joseph. Curran overran it. Allows O'Keefe to come in on hands and knees. Squeezes it out there to Spinner. Off the boot marked by Oz, but umpire said not 15. Hamble's back to O'Brien, needs to get the kick. It's a wobbly one inside 50. Shillabir sliding, couldn't take it. Edwards probably could have taken it in the end. Galley there wraps him up in a tackle. Umpire says no opportunity. My footy, balled up. In fact, it will be balled up rather. About 35 out from goal. Carter comes in, wins the hit out. Looking for Bradley in front of Motlop though. Just comes off of his toe and goes over the boundary line. Dribbles over, not out on the full. Right forward pocket. 7 4 46 are the Tigers. North Adelaide 5 8 38. Six minutes gone, third term. The Premiership quarter. Ball thrown in. 30 from the southern goal. Obbs with a hit out over the top, taken nicely by Merritt. Hands off to Malira, who's been reasonably quiet today in his first game back from injury. Gave to Snook, and the kick out of defensive 50. Missed the target, went out of bounds on the full. It's going to be a free kick to the Roosters, and it will go the way of Cameron Craig. Oh, a shocking kick in board. Found Malira's chest. He Unfortunately for the Roosters, plays for the Bay. So he chips it short for Johansson. He's inside the centre square and then a wobbly old kick straight across the centre square to Jolly. Hand pass over the top. McIntyre did well. Wobbly old kick inside forward 50. Gee, that's consistency. All those kicks have been shockers. So it comes now, turnover. Roosters, hand pass inside to clinch was dangerous. They get away with it. Cameron Craig was involved. Then Motlop. Motlop looks down the line, just chips it over the top. Swing, who's run on pretty well, takes the mark. Inside 50 goes. Shillaby has lost his man in Galley. Oh, the bounce favoured Galley, though. And he'll come away from defensive 50 for the Bays. Gives it off to Merritt. Running out of defensive 50, indecisive. Goes short with a pass. Reed applies the spoil. Spills in the hands there of Spina. Inside 50. Shillaby has got some space yet again. Unlucky there for Galley. Wasn't quite sure. In no man's land, so to speak. Was going to come to the contest. Ended up leaving his opponent there in Shillaby all alone. And he's marked about 40 out on a 45 degree angle. Over there in that left forward pocket. He has done a lot of work this afternoon, Shillaby. He's been up and down the ground and very active in that forward 50 with four goals as well. Comes in now, steps inside the paint of 50. Again off the set shot. The kick's a poor one. Marked almost there by Curran. Spoil at the back, Obbs. The Tigers have some numbers back on the last line of defence. And Joseph gave it off to Curran. Runs out of the defensive goal square underneath the scoreboard. Chips it short. Couldn't quite take the mark. Was Bailey. Good spoil over the top there. O'Keefe spills back in the direction of Galley. And Shillaby replies a tackle. And it's pretty obvious, uh, Crossy. Darren Shillaby, he rushes his set shots on goal. And all three of them have been helicopter punts off yeah. the boot. Yeah. They've been poor, haven't they? Disappointing for a guy who, as we said, on the snap, he's been excellent. The ball thrown back into play. Pitt third man up, knocks it forward. Merritt picks it up. Hand pass off straight away to Earl. Earl down the line with a kick long for the Bays. Looking for Alloway. Ball comes to the front. Well taken away by North Adelaide. Gee, they're a little bit better organised around the clinches in this half. And then that wasn't a fantastic kick from Virgin. Turned it over. Here's Jolly. Hand pass out for McIntyre, wanted to go back inside. In the end, a good little dodge and a weave, took a bounce in there, and then he got it off to Jolly again, and then Jolly goes wide for Johansson, who says settle it down, but he's got a man running free down the line, and he decides instead to go the other side of the ground. Dangerous kick, high kick. It's punched away by the North Adelaide players. Off to Amato, off the left foot, goal! Oh, gee, the Bays would be disappointed with that. They had control and turned it over, and Nick Amato has his second goal for the afternoon. And they're back within two points of the league, North Adelaide. It's 7 4 46 for the Bays. North Adelaide, six goals, 8 42. He's been good this afternoon, Jake Johansson, but just can't quite work out what that decision was then to switch it across uh, to the outer side, where it was uh, a, a two on one in his side's favour. But great work by Keith. The kick had too much air on it, but he had Chris Curran all alone, 20 metres in the clear. So an error there by Johansson allows Amato to bob up with his second, two in the third term for Nick. And it's back to a two-point deficit in favour of the home side. The 
back underway in the middle. Umpire Mitchell Scott bounces it down in that cricket wicket area. Craig again with a hit out. First possession there to Earl. The kick ricocheted off the boot of a North player. Good work by the big man Craig to follow up. Then a nice one-handed mark, not paid because it wasn't 15. It was Curran. Got it back in the direction there of Pitt. He switches it to the outer side half-back flank and it's marked just outside defensive 50 by Nicholson. And Carl Nicholson goes short, threads the Ivan Needle and finds Agnew. Reed ran into Obston, both pinballed off each other and fell to ground. And left Agnew standing all alone with the mark. True half-back flank, outer side, chip short. It's a poor kick again. Look for the player there in Bailey, missed the target. Edwards in there, good work as well by Reed. Umpire says my footy, neutral ball. Just back with a centre wing out of side. The Roosters kicked a nice goal there earlier through Amado. Back to the two-point margin, as I say. Umpire throws the footy aloft. In front position, Tigers won the hit out, but it's a free kick going the way of Glenelg. Umpire stopped the plate. It's coming back to the it's player pit. in pit. Yeah, he just got tackled out of there by O'Keefe, who had the mistaken belief he had the ball. So Pitt kicks it to half forward on the lead. Alloway couldn't take it, sliding in on hands and knees. Coming through, Earl farms out a handball. Off now to McIntyre. He's kicked one already, runs in towards the goal line. Marked beautifully on the last line by Clinch. The former Magpie will clear defensive 50 for the, uh, tie, uh, for the Roosters. Now in the right back pocket, the mark taken there by Ryswick. So Ryswick backs up, takes his time down the line. He's got the big man in Obst. He won't get that far with the kick. Reed comes from three deep. <laughs> got the ball to ground. Not sure about the I'm not sure about the legality of the ability of the attempt to mark that ball. But anyway, he got it out of bounds for North Adelaide. It's fair to say he flew pretty early and pretty much almost marked it, almost oh. coming down, down to ground level. So he, I would have thought he infringed his opponent. He did fly as well as a rooster, didn't he? He just <laughs> was up and down and it didn't go anywhere really. Now off the pack from the throw in, it's taken by Thring, who backed up pretty well. Down the line he goes with the kick. Curran at the back looked like he was going to take it. He couldn't, but it's well snaffled again by Woodall, who's had a good afternoon. Gave it to Curran, who then by hand went to uh, Agnew, and then he went off to Bradley. He had his ball, he had the ball smothered. Now North Adelaide back in control. They're inside 50. Ball bounces beautifully for Virgin. Has a look at the goal. Was tackled just as he kicked it. Minor score. Gee, they got out of trouble there again. The Bays. North 6-9-45. Trail by a point. Glenelg 7-4-46. The Tigers have taken the kick out immediately. Gully went short to Curran, didn't find the target. But Curran had time, switches it to the outer side, and he's got Nicholson. The kick's turned over. Straight into the arms of Greg, the handball inboard, looking for the play there in Thring. Clever little tap on the Off now inboard to Clisby. He can run inside 50. Can Mitch Clisby kick it? Yes, he can. Great goal for the Roosters. They take the lead, do North Adelaide. 7-9-51. The... the Glenelg well, Tigers 7 4 46. A good goal there to Clisby. And a deft little tap on by Max Thring. Good play by North Adelaide. And they've had all the momentum in the opening in the uh, opening part of this third term, Crossy. Yeah, and they deservedly take the lead. Well, we've got 12 minutes now into this quarter, and it has been it's actually been value for money for the Roosters. We haven't seen it often in this game. They have butchered a lot of opportunities. They were three goals, eight at half time, but they've managed to kick four goals, one in this third term thus far. And remembering, just by the way, I might mention they have not won a third term this season. The Roosters, they're well on their way at the moment. Out of the middle, they'll get another clearance through Spina. Gets it deep inside, forward 50. Hacked off the ground by Johansson towards the boundary line. Out of side of the ground, Nicholson comes in, picks it up. Handball back to Johansson. Then Johansson goes back down the line. Curran couldn't take it. A couple of Roosters opposed to him. He was sandwiched Curran. He's down now. And the ball's on the ground and we'll get a ball up. Uh, Curran's still down slow to his feet. Had a suggestion there, I think, where his head went straight into the back of uh, a rooster head as well. I reckon he got a uh, squashed face, uh, Crossy. Yeah. Ball down Joe Anderson. Haven't called him a lot this afternoon. Takes possession. Earl takes him. We'll get another ball up. So that's 60 from the goal face for North Adelaide. Momentum swinging very much the rooster's way in the third term. Bays try to bring it away. Andrew Bradley taken to ground. Umpire calls it play on. And still the umpire letting it go. Now he'll come in. 7-9-51 for North Adelaide. Glenelg 7-4-46. Bays actually took the lead. One minute mark of the second term. They've been in front until that last goal. At the 15 minute mark, of, or 12 minute mark I should say, of this third term. It's Scott on centre wing for Glenelg. 
So Scott kicks down the line. He's got Alloway in a mismatch up against Ryswick. Ryswick does well just to keep the body out. Tap over the top by Gorman, but it spills the way of the former rooster. Alloway just shrugs off the tackler in Reed. Hambles back in board to Bailey. Steps around an opponent. Straightens up. Kicks towards the goal. Good spoil there by Miles. Could have taken McIntyre high. He has taken McIntyre high. Great work down there by Darcy Bailey. Stepped around a couple of wannabe tacklers. And in the end, the rush kicked forward. McIntyre playing in front. Just taken over the shoulder by Miles. And McIntyre lining up for his second directly in front, Neil. Late decision by the umpire to call it. I mean, the, the arm was there, but the arm was in the act of punching the ball away. And in the Miles spoil, had, yeah. Miles had done that successfully. In the end, McIntyre, he got the benefit of the doubt. So lining up from about 20 out directly in front. Slots through his second. Much needed goal for the Tigers against the momentum of play. McIntyre's second is Glenelg's eighth. 8-4-52. The Tigers take the lead back north. 7-9-51. And we have travelled 15 minutes in this third term. So seesawing match again. As pretty much you'd expect from these two sides. And the importance of scoring to that southern end of the ground will be made clear in the last quarter, you'd think, with that breeze favouring the right of screen. The Ball back in the middle now. Tigers in front. Roosters have come hard in this quarter. Snook out of the middle. Hand pass for Merritt. Merritt takes it. Back across the square he goes to Jolly. <laughs> Jolly just caught it. He wasn't sure he was the man who was meant to get it. Hand pass over the top to Pitt. Pitt down to half forward. He looks for the leap and he doesn't get the mark there from Hinge. And so it's turned over and the Roosters come the other way. Not a great kick exiting from defence as a result. The mark taken there by the big Ruckman in Carter. And then Carter goes into the forward pocket. Miles smashes the ball wide for Reed. Reed will take it towards the boundary line for North Adelaide and over. So we get a throw in just outside the forward 50 for the Bays. Score update from down at Norlunga, Neil. South Adelaide 2-7-19. The Eagles 6-7-43. So the Eagles buy four goals down there at Hickenbotham. Well, we've obviously got the close one. And probably the better of the contest, judging by that score line of goals. So... High kick inside forward 50 for the base. Scott came hard, but the boundary line ran out in the end as he dropped it. So we'll get another ball in, or throw in, I should say. About 48 from the goal face for the Tigers. Kicking into the breeze in this term. And they led by 14 points at halftime. And their margin now is just one point. Ball out of the pack and towards the boundary line again. Another throw in coming. Joe Anderson did well just at the last minute to be able to handball that one out. So, a bit of finger pointing going on as they try and set up. Ball thrown in. Craig gets into good position, knocks it down. He's opposing Ruckman, though, and Carter takes the ball away. And now Jolly inside forward 50 with a kick to the pocket. Scott, brave. Was he rewarded by the umpire? No. I thought he may have had a case for a free kick then. He stays down, does Josh Scott. And he picks himself up. Umpire calls for the ball to be thrown in. Right forward pocket, just 10 metres around from the goal face. The boundary umpire throws the footy back into play. Dangerous spot. Felled off the footy was virgin. Umpire's blown the whistle. And the non-officiating umpire in the middle of the ground spotted it. So Michael Virgin receives a free. Hambles back to his defensive goal square. Down at that northern end. He's got Motlock, a little indecisive. Just patiently waits for a lead. Gets it from Clisby and he does well with the closing speed to take the mark. Still in defensive 50. Kick back towards true centre half back. He's found Spina. Hambles off there to the flanking Motlock. Nice kick into the middle of the ground. Finds O'Keefe. He marks below his knees. Decides now to switch over towards that outer side. Runs to centre wing. Gets a shepherd there from Spina. And kicks it inside 50. It's normally a nice kick. This one, no exception. Amato couldn't quite take it. Great spoil, Woodall. The youngster has been impressive, as we've said. And umpire says, my footy right alongside the boundary line where the paint of 50 joins the line. We're going to have a ball in. A ball up, rather. 8-4-52, one-point lead to the Tigers. North Adelaide, a 7-9-51. Up goes Carter, wins the hit out towards Earl. Hambles back there to Snook. Back now towards Pitt. Pitt clears defensive, 50. Good body work there by the North skipper and Gorman. Takes the mark. Plays on quickly. High up and under kick down there, looking for Obbs. Has the bigger body, 1-2, takes the mark. But the umpire's paid pushing in the back. A free kick going to go the way of Tom Curran. It's pretty obvious that the hands went into the back there, Neil. And the free kick by Curran. Chips it to this right left back pocket rather and finds Galley. An interesting matchup today on Big Shillabeer. Galley's kicks a poor one. In the end, Pitt couldn't take it. 
Just overshot the mark. Hamble comes from Thring. That's a poor one, though. Intercepted nicely by the player in Joseph. And the umpire, umpire Crosby there just coming back in towards the play. Just got almost shepherded off the footy there by a North player. And he's going to call for a ball up. Right on the paint of 50. Right half forward flank. Up goes Craig. Punches it inside. 50 for the Roosters. Amato dives on it. Trying to force his way out of it. Umpire says, nothing doing. My ball up. One point margin to the Tigers. Ball to be bounced down on the 50. 20 minutes gone. Third term. Craig comes over the top. Knocks it down. Anderson. Hand pass was just ricocheted up in the air. Joseph goes at it again. Clisby's on top of him. Ball going nowhere. Umpire says, give it to me. Interesting to note, if you go off screen to the left, you'll see that, we won't be able to see it, but you will see that uh, North Adelaide have a loose player, but Motlop is way back by himself behind where the next kick would go if the Bays cleared the area, which they don't at the moment. Anderson in there, looked like he was taken down. Earl was brilliant, got it out. Pitt, though, couldn't get a clean hand pass. Earl is back there again and tackled again. So the Roosters still hold it. Near their forward 50, off the ball. Max Thring involved, umpire with the whistle, but he said, no, that's okay. Andrew Bradley is dogging him. So the ball down. Craig with the knock away. Joseph came through, got a hand to it. Earl again, tries to go in board and just couldn't get away from the tackle of Virgin. So a free kick will go to North Adelaide. And now they stream forward, looking for a pass. Here comes Ryswick on the lead, opposed to two. Bailey, one of them. And in fact, it was Agnew who came over the top and just knocked it across the boundary line. 35 around from the goal face for North Adelaide. And it's just one point they trail by. Yeah, really, Ryswick had a quiet day today. I've really liked the game there of Brad Agnew. He's been wearing him like a glove. The ball thrown in, taken there by Carter. Hits it down nicely to Bradley. Hands back there to Joseph, the former uh, Carlton player. Chip short, a little indecisive, but he finds Bailey left back pocket. Chip short and finds the former West Adelaide big man and Tom Carter. In the absence of Lockie Button, Carter the sole ruckman for the Tigers. Chip short goes back to Bradley where we started. Then Bradley clears defensive 50 now. Off to Snook. He marks, plays on quickly. Wobbly kick from left half back, looking for Alloway. Good pick up by Scott. Hands off nicely to Earl. Inside 50, looking for Hinge in a one on one there with Gulman. Hinge does well, gets a handle back, but it's only as far as the big man Miles. Was full into ground when he took it, stumbles to ground, has been given the benefit of the doubt by the umpire. It's going to be a ball up, about 35 out from the Tigers goal. King to the northern end, they lead by one point. We've just ticked into time on in this third term. A lot of players go to ground. Coming through, Bradley off the left foot. Good smother there by Clinch. In fact, it was Motlop. Forces it over the boundary line in the left forward pocket. And have a throw in alongside the left point post. 8-4-52 the Tigers, north 7-9-51. Umpire throws the footy back in. Alloway takes front spot, Miles takes it out of the ruck. Hacks it out of defensive 50 into the middle of the ground. Well trapped there by Agnew. Good handball back over the top there to Woodall. Inside goes with the hand pass off to Joseph. High up and under kick, a lot of numbers down there. Flying Motlop, good spoil. Great crumbing, Nicholson gets a toe on it. Goes through there to Scott. Just rushed through for a behind though. Good work defensively by Motlop. So that behind to the Tigers extends their lead to two points. 8-5-53 Aglanelg, north 7-9-51. And we've travelled 22 minutes, third quarter. Now it's become a real contest. It's in the seesaw motion again. Motlop with the kick in onto this side of the ground. At the front, Clisby released the hand pass. And that looked like it was out. The umpire, the boundary umpire said, no, it wasn't. So fighting on was cut, was uh, Reed there. And the umpire eventually came in and said, I'll have it. Now there's a push and shove. The umpire's going to say, throw him to the ground. And oh. Snook will take the free kick. Nick Amato and, and the uh, youngster there in Woodall just going at it as well. And as they play on, Curran in board. He was by himself. Reiswick almost shuts him down. Curran's kick towards the 50. Off the hands, O'Keefe couldn't take it. Gorman's there as well. McIntyre picked it up. Hand pass slipped out. Malira, classy. The Malira for the goal, the bounce. Just the wrong side of the post for the Bays. They've added to their lead. It's a three point lead. And we're in time on in this third term. One goal three now for Malira, returning to the Tigers lineup from a hamstring injury. Suffered a few weeks ago against Glenelg, against uh, the Eagles rather. North have taken the kick out immediately. They've gone up to the centre of the ground. Anderson took a good mark. Handed off to Spina. Hands off there to Clisby. They're at half forward left are the Roosters. Ryswick's marked it. Chip over the top to Big Shillabier. Marked about 50 out from goal. 
Spec distance won't be an issue. No, he's had his trouble with his set shot, so he plays on it. It's a high up and under route. It's a massive kick. It's a massive goal. Shillabier gets his fifth. Proved that he's not too confident on the set shot. Decided to run around, play on, open the angle, and booms it in from outside 50. And against the stem of flow, North Adelaide get their eighth goal. 8-9, 57. Glenelg, 8-6-54. The Roosters take the lead back. 24 gone, third term. A fifth to Shillaby, Crossy. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's just, <laughs> he is just phenomenal at his ability to, uh, to just boom that ball. Except for on a set shot. So back <laughs> in the middle of the ground. Andrew Bradley just got it out briefly. Now Keith run off the ball. And now they crowd in. And then it was Pitt who got the hand pass out. And Shillabier was taken higher. Thought the umpire agreed. Bays fans say he ducked his head. Now inside 50, not the greatest of kicks. Curran off to Joseph by hand. And then why'd they go for Bradley? So the skipper with the ball. Just inside his defensive 50. Andrew Bradley just calling for his team to get to the outer side so he can kick it there and that's the way he goes and Josh Scott was there and so was the fist of Miles and Miles punched it out of bounds just ahead of centre wing for the Roosters. So what a quarter of football we've seen. One, two, three, four, five goals for the Roosters and two in reply from the Bays who led by 14 points at half time and they trail now by three points. Ball in dispute, umpire comes in. And he will come in and separate the players and take position and throw it up. We're going to have a ball up on that outer side, half forward line. North Adelaide kicking to the primary school or southern end. Up goes Carter, wins the hit out over the top to Anderson. He's got Edwards flanking him. Nice little pass over the top, looking for Schillebeer. Great spoil though by Galley. Max String there as well for the Roosters. But a rare win for Galley. Certainly had his colours lowered by the big man in Schillebeer. Ball will be thrown in about 55 out from goal. Left forward pocket. About 30 metres to the left of the scoreboard. That shows North in front by three points. Umpire throws the footy in. Carter won it. Good second effort there by the big man Craig. O'Brien farms out of Hamble, as does O'Keefe. Ricocheted by Earl. Back in the hands there of Scott. Up and under kick. Outnumbered Alloway two on one. And stepping in, taking the mark unopposed was Miles. Good body work off the footy there by Craig. That's, of course, Cameron Craig, the younger brother of the Ruckman James. So the big kick by Miles uses the advantage of the breeze. Shillabier out number two to one. Good crumbing O'Brien. Couldn't quite take it first grab. Galley in there. Puts some pressure on. O'Brien and Galley with an arm wrestle. Ball inside 50 for the Roosters. We're going to have a ball up. Nearing the three-quarter time break. Up goes the footy. Galley does the ruck work, as does Shillabier. Hits it back into a dangerous spot. Good tackle. Shules put some pressure on. Pitt taken high. Will win the free kick. Had his head over the footy. O'Keefe just clumsily came in over the top. And Craig Pitt, last year's co best and fairest, wins the free as the three quarter time siren sounds to end, to end an entertaining contest. The final change North Adelaide will take a three point lead into that break. North 8 9 57, Glenelg 8 6 54. That third term going about 25 and a half minutes. Goal kickers in the contest. Big Darren Shillaby with five. Two to Nick Amato, both in that third term. And a single to Mitch Clisby, while for the Tigers, Jake Johansson with three. Two to Tim McIntyre, Craig Pitt and Josh Scott and Terry Malira with a single. So repeating those three-quarter time scores, it's North Adelaide 8-9-57, Glenelg 8-6-54. We'll go back, have a short break. and be, be back with you for this final quarter thriller here on the SNFL live stream. 57. Glenelg 8-6-54. One side should finish up victors this afternoon with a well-deserved win. It's been an enthralling contest to date. Goal kickers Darren Shillabier with five for the Roosters. Two to Nick Amato, one to Mitch Clisby, while for the Tigers. Jack Johansson with three. Two to Tim McIntyre. Singles to Terry Malira, Josh Scott and Craig Pitt. Having a look at some of the stats winners for the Tigers. Uh, Andrew Bradley, the skipper, with 22 touches, seven clearances. Matty Snook with 21 Joseph with 19, as does Lockie Earl. Craig Pitt with 16. Also Agnew with 16. And then for the Roosters, Mutwop with 17, as does Reese O'Keefe. Darren Shillabier, clear best on ground for mine for North. 17 touches, 9 marks, 5 goals. In this final quarter, we'll find out who the victor will be. It's a three-point margin in favour of the visiting side. The winner will claim the John Sanderland Cup. And your caller to bring us home in this final term, Neil Cross.
So it's all set up. Just a three-point lead for the visitors, the Roosters, on a big weekend for the Bays, a long weekend of celebrating the 1985 Premiership. Away comes Clisby from the middle for the Roosters, looking for that man Schiller there, and a good punch away from Galley. Been a great contest to watch all afternoon between those two players. Ball out of bounds. So in that third term, 17 inside 50s with the win for North Adelaide to nine, and they kick five goals to two. Ball thrown back into play. Ops had a bit of it. Fell to Lockie Earl, who kicked it towards centre Good wing, hands. and a nice mark taken there by Merritt. And he goes inside forward 50 with the kick. Not quite. Scott falling backwards. It'll be picked up by Miles. Hand pass off to Motlop. A little bit of a fake. And then he gets a shepherd, and he's away. Hand pass for the 1 2 with Clisby. Gorman gets in the way, but eventually following on, Motlop will get it. Down the line he goes with a kick, poor kick under pressure. Curran takes the mark on centre wing for the Bays and they'll send themselves into attack, remembering they're kicking with the breeze. And right now, Malira is loose inside 50. Oh, no, it won't get there because that's too long a kick. <laughs> so Curran takes it, kicks to half forward. He's got a teammate there, Carter, just nudged under it by Gorman. Ball inside 50. Scott and Reed collide. Beautiful body work down there by both players. Coming inside with a handball there it was Joseph. A felt off the footy with Scott. The Roosters through the middle of the ground. Now through Virgin. Off there to the big man in James Craig. Inside 50, Schillerbeer. Spoil over the shoulder by the player there in Galley. And Darren Schillerbeer has won the free kick. We hear the thud on the bench there from the coach's box next to us. Matty Locken not happy. The Glenelg man in charge. And Darren Schillerbeer lining up for his sixth. I reckon from memory only one of them was off a set shot. So I wouldn't be surprised, Crossy. The way he's been kicking off a set shot, he should just run around and play on. Well, I think it's Mitch Clisby standing to his left. If I was Mitch Clisby, I'd be running around the back saying, give me the hand pass. <laughs> Darren Shillaby now, as I say, lining up for goal number six. Five goals, one. A couple of set shots that didn't make the distance. Kick into a slight breeze. The distance shouldn't be a worry. Comes in now from inside 40. It's a high up and under kick. He starts it at the middle of the goals. The breeze pushes it to the right. Through for a behind. So 5-2 on the day for Shillaby. North move to 8-10-58. Glenelg 8 6 54. We've gone two minutes in this final quarter, and it looks like we've got a kick out infringement from the Tigers. The umpire saying we're coming back to the goal square, so an error there from Glenelg. Crossy. Important error, too. And we wait to see what the Bays decide to do. They could have tried to get it over the line. They haven't been able to snook at the bottom of the pack. Oh, it's taken off him, and they get away with it because the media tackle, and that was O'Brien, Jesse O'Brien, in there for. North Adelaide, he'll surrender the ball to the umpire. They've moved it about five metres away from the initial ball up. Over the top, Schultz knocked it down. Virgin taken to ground. Good tackle made there. Had to be made by Agnew. Didn't allow the ball to spill out either. So we get another ball up. Schultz looking to be third man up. That's why you'll see there he's being held. So the Bays get it down to Snook, who tries to clear the area. Over his head, dangerous kick. Oh, it worked out for them. Scott taking... A strong chest mark. Love his attack on the footy. He's been good this afternoon. We'll get his stats in a minute, Phil, if you got him. And then he went wide with the kick. Oh, I'm not sure about that mark taken by Hinge, but the umpire was satisfied. <laughs> thought it hit the ground from here. Well, yeah, I also thought it might have only been about 14 metre kick too. So <laughs> Hinge goes backward defensively to Galley. And then across the goals he goes to Howard. Haven't called him much this afternoon. Howard. Over mm. the top with the left foot has to be accurate. Is that did was pretty just well. His, uh, ninth disposal for Howard and Josh Scott Neal. He's had 12 disposals, six marks. Yeah, he might have even been more dominant. Though. I think he's been pretty good. Now, the kick goes down the line to Snook, and then running was Pitt, and then he got it away. And now the kick looking for Alloway. It goes over his head. Johansson shrugs his man and clinched. Nicholson overlapping, bounces towards 50, can go all the way to the goals, decides to kick it, took on the responsibility and kicked the goal. Well done, young man. Carl Nicholson. Just his 10th goal in league football. And he's put the Bays in front. Five minutes into the last quarter of the Bays. They move along to nine goals, six. Is that right? Yep, nine goals, six, 60. And North Adelaide, eight, 10, 58. Two-point deficit in favour of the home side. They take the lead back. And a quality goal there from young Nicholson. Missed a bit of footy late last year. And at the start of this year, not sure of the injury, but I know he had his foot in a moon boot. He showed some great running skill then and finished off cleanly inside 50. We're back underway. Two-point margin of the home side, as I say. Good work by Bradley. Gets a handball out looking for Earls. Ball spills in the direction, though, of Ryswick. Toe poked 
it in front of himself. Glenelg fans want it in danger. Kick towards half forward. Glenelg players knock each other over. Coming through Clisby. Runs inside 50. Can he put North in back in front with a second? No, he misses to the left. Poor finish there from Clisby. So North in accuracy continues. 8-11-59. It's a one-point deficit. Glenelg a 9-6-60. And we have travelled in this final term just under six minutes. To the bays. Through Bailey. Off to Howard, and Howard over the top, the head pass to Agnew, centre of the ground. Dagley across the square looking for Alloway, they miss him again, it just goes too far. Johansson judged it pretty well, now inside 50, not a bad kick for Malira. Craig, or rather Gorman worried him out of it. Malira's got possession now, Gorman had him, Gorman's got him again. And now the umpire circles around and says, no, play on. Johansson, that ball was out, and the umpire, the boundary umpire spotted it. Johansson oh, went, went on, kicked, goal. kicked a great <laughs> goal, but... Yeah, that ball clearly bounced out and the boundary umpire saw it. Johansson's questioning it. Great positioning from the boundary umpire because he was you know, safely away from the contest, only six or seven metres, and he had the perfect angle on it. Good call by the men in green. They come back about 35 around from the goal face. Bays lead it, kicking with the breeze and off the ground, off the ball, there's been an incident with Alan Obst and Merritt knocked to ground and so there's a little bit of a dispute it should be a free kick down the ground where the ball was about to be thrown in and it will be a free kick to Glenelg I think umpire's a little bit confused and now they've decided yes down the ground now, I'm not sure the boundary umpire had taken the throw in when the whistle was blown so he's given the free kick from where the boundary umpire would have would sent have the ball to where it would have landed yeah and uh, notice as soon as the uh, whistle was blown for the free kick little Jake Johansson quick to march in and Get his hands on the footy, obviously wanted to get the shot on goal. He'd be lining up now for his third goal in the afternoon. And he's very confident too. He's gone back a long way. A lot of cricket played here at the Bay now, and I'll tell you what, he'd be happy with this sort of <laughs> run-up. So Johansson comes in, 45-degree angle, stabs at the ball. Breeze carries it into the post. So they just extend the lead to two points. Glenelg, 9 7 North Adelaide, 8-11-59. We've gone through seven minutes in this final term. And three goals, one now for Johansson, his first blemish on the day. Motlop takes the kick out for the Roosters, goes to that outer side, looking for Miles, one, two, three, couldn't take it, paid the mark in the end. Didn't think he had full control of it. The umpire signalled the two hands up for a mark. And just outside defensive 50, the former Eagle. Played 49 games for the West Torrens, did Todd Miles. Very good player for North Adelaide. Kicks it down the line. Center wing. Obst flew early, judging it better. Agnew takes a strong mark. Center wing, out of side. His Tigers leading by two points. Chip short. Plays on quickly now, does the player in Curran. Inside 50. Alloway dropped it. Good work down there by Virgin. Clears defensive 50 with a kick, though. It's only as far as Agnew. Can he keep it in? Did it go out on the full? Agnew claiming it as out on the full, but he actually touched it in the field of play and then came off his fingertips over the boundary line for a throw in directly on center wing. Here in that outer side of glider roll. Seven gone, final term. Ball thrown in. Craig with the hit out. Won the hit out rather. Off there to Snook. Off his left foot. Goes inside 50. Good spoil again by Miles. He's a rock of Gibraltar down there in defence. Spoils it over the line in front of his direct opponent, Hinge. We'll have a throw in. Underneath the time clock that says seven minutes. Next to the scoreboard that says Glenelg 9 7 61 North 8 11 59. Your next voice you'll hear will be Neil Cross. Miles just works the ball away. And then there was a high tackle in there. And it'll be a free kick to Woodall. So Josh Woodall take the free kick about 45 metres out. Up by, I think that's where he's setting the mark. Well, a couple back from the 50 metre line, which is actually 47 metres. <laughs> I was here the day WA when we played uh, WA in the state game four years ago, three years ago. And I saw Chris Waterman, the then coach of WA, actually measuring it out with one of those little measuring yep. wheels. So Woodall. Oh, he had the option outside to Howard, who's such a long kick, and Howard just goes, boom, it's going to land on the goal line, through for the minor score. Crowd on this side of the ground, a little bit excited. Looked like it might have gone through. It's such a booming kick is uh, Christian Howard. So three points the margin in favour of the Bays. Motlop again with the kick-out duties. He's their designated kicker in. Got responsibility of doing it this time. Cool to play on, kicks it towards grandstand side in the front seat. Jolly takes a good mark, good body work off the footy. Unopposed inside 50 is the player there in Joseph. 
Good awareness by Hayden Jolly. Goes inside 50 and Aaron Joseph has marked about 40 out directly in front. Josh Gregg standing the mark and poor checking by the Roosters defenders, Neil. Was indeed. And not what you want, especially in a tight last quarter. You're kicking into the breeze. You know that North Adelaide is likely going to have a few inside 50 opportunities, but you just can't give away easy marks inside 50 like that. Aaron Joseph, plenty of experience, as you mentioned earlier, that he's played some 73 games with Carlton, runner-up in the best and fairest last year for the Bays. In the leadership group with the Tigers this year, from the pain of 50, the kick's on its way. He's pushed it, looking for more distance. So the Tigers extending their lead in minor scores. 9-9-63, Arglanelg. North Adelaide, 8-11-59. We have travelled 10 minutes of this final term. And the Tigers look to have turned it over, or uh, caused a turnover, marked it on the outer side through Nicholson. He puts it up, 25 from goal. Josh Scott, all oh, one, two, almost had it. Coming through there was Merritt. He's taken to ground. Or McIntyre, I should say, taken to ground. Now the umpire will come in and take possession of the ball. Dangerous position. If you're a Bays fan, you'll just be hoping that somebody can work the ball and work some magic here. Bradley with the tackle there. Clinch was the man for the Roosters. Ball in the air again. Scott just released a hand pass. All looked high. Umpire saw it. Tackle in there from O'Brien. Just a little high. And it will be Malira who will get up and take the shot at goal. 25 metres out. All but straight in front to give the Bays a 10-point break. In what hasn't been a huge scoring game when you look at that scoreboard. Nine goals, nine on the board for Glenelg. North, eight goals, 11. Has been exciting. And this will lift the crowd. There is a fair crowd of Bay supporters who are getting behind their team this afternoon at Gliderol. So in comes Malira, former St Kilda player. And he drops it on the boot and he's happy with the result. And he should be. Two goals for Malira. An elk skip clear by 10 points, 10-9-69. 8-11-59, North Adelaide. After three consecutive behinds for the Tigers, they finally get a goal through Malira. His second, as Neil said, former Port Adelaide Magpie before being drafted to St Kilda. Very talented player. Extends his home side's lead to 10 points. 10-9-69, North 8-11-59. Tick over 11 and a half minutes in this final term. Umpire Scott. Bounces the footy back down into the cricket wicket area. Favours hinge in the ruck. Good work by Craig. Gets there to force a hit out. Quick kick came off the boot of Spina. Turned over though. Glenelg have possession. Hinge taken in a tackle by Ryswick. Question how he disposed of it. Play on the call. Craig just forces a handball out, but it's only as far as Snoot. The Tigers on the attack again. L gives off to Howard. Tries to thread the handball through. Pass is smothered by Reed of North Adelaide. It falls back in the hands of Malira. Back to Howard. He slipped over. Reed. Does well to mop up. Gives it off there to Virgin. This handball past this mother. Good tackle by the Tigers skipper in Bradley. Ball back inside the centre square. Max Ring applying a tackle on Lockie Earl. Nothing doing, says the umpire. We'll have a ball up. About 65 out from the Tigers' goal. Third man up goes Malira. Taps it down beautifully there to Snook. Rush kick inside 50. Johansson, can he get there on the slide? Yes, he can. Showed great closing speed, did the little man. He might have hurt himself in the attempted mark. As he has a set shot on goal from inside 50, is well enough to brush himself off, get up, back to his feet. And in the left forward pocket on a pretty tight angle, Jake Johansson lining up for his fourth. So that's the eighth inside 50 for the Bays in the final quarter to three for North Adelaide. They have all the momentum do the Tigers, looking for their first victory of 2015. Johansson now, left forward pocket at that southern end. About a 60 to 5 degree angle. Comes in now. Deliberate in his approach. Stabs at it. Keeps it straight. It's straight through the middle. The Tigers extend their lead. Johansson gets his fourth. And Glenelg moved to 11 9 75. Might be difficult now for the Roosters. They are 8 11 59. And we have travelled 12 minutes in this final term. A fourth to Johansson. An important one for the Tigers. Just again, just a little bit of. Uh just a little bit of skill, a little bit of execution. 
which has been so important this afternoon for two sides that are sitting down the ladder and that's been their problem just execution of what they need to do and at times in the first half they were both sides were appalling but it's been a better second half you'd have to say that so back in the middle james craig with a knockdown for north adelaide they need some good clearances and a little bit of luck in this final turn because they're kicking in to the breeze Amato got it out, just chipped it forward. Schultz over the ball, tapped it wide. They've got some numbers, Thring taken to ground. Umpire lets it go. Now he'll call for it. Right at centre half forward. Just heard the ground announcer cross here with the crowd attendance for this afternoon, 3,480. So a pretty good turnout for the public holiday Monday clash. We're very happy with that, the Bays. Or at least the managers of the Bays will be very happy with that. <laughs> Ball goes wide, Curran picks it up, dumped into the ground by Amato, good tackle. You'd be happy with seeing that if you were playing in the State of Origin Rugby League, which will be not next week, the week after. Not this coming week, the week after. Ball down. No clearance again for the base. Umpires are looking, having a look, and says, that's holding the ball. He does. Well, he pulls one out of nowhere, to be honest. Haven't had too many holding the ball decisions paid today, Neil. Well, certainly not in that situation. Lockie Earl was doing his best work as a turtle then, just trying to sit <laughs> on the back and saying, I can't get up. Inside 50 now for North Adelaide. Looked like a high tackle it is. So the Bays will get some relief. Shallow inside 50, just their fourth of the quarter, North Adelaide. That's Chris Curran, the recipient of the free kick. Left back pocket, front of the cricket training area. A clear defensive 50, goes to that outer side. Up goes Alloway, takes a strong mark. Clint gets his hands on the footy. Former North Adelaide captain, of course. Kicks it down towards half forward, middle of the ground. Good kick there, good pace and good spot up. Finds Woodall, plays on quickly. Off there to Joseph. Can he ice it from outside 50? Yes, he can. Aaron Joseph kicks his first on the day. As you see, the scoreboard attendant with the Glenelg flag waving vivaciously their 12th goal for the Tigers. 12-9-81. North Adelaide 8 11 59. Game set and match, you would suspect now for the Tigers. 16 and a half gone, final quarter. And it's great work again by that impressive youngster in Josh Woodall. Feed it off, fed it off rather to Joseph. And Aaron Joseph kicks truly for his first. Just looking for my notes on Woodall, North Gambia boy. So he's come all the way up from the southeast. Of course, big recruiting zone for the Bays. Great finish by Aaron Joseph. And you think it's good night to North Adelaide. Ball back in the middle. Can they smuggle it out? No. Good work from Earl in traffic. Got it out to that man Woodall. Comes to this side of the ground. Space available. Good kick for Hinge. He'll back up it right half forward. Can go down the line to McIntyre. Instead, he decides to go high and long. Malir has got a good sit. He decides not to go. Brought to the front. Pitt was there. And now we'll get a ball up. Alloway did well. Firstly, in the marking contest to bring it to the front. And then... On the ground to hold it in there, 25 out, straight in front of the goal face for the Bays. Been a great last quarter for them. Four goals without reply. Malira off the pack, couldn't take it. Snook with possession number 30 off to Nicholson. By hand, out to Woodall. Got a hand in there, now the umpire circling. Woodall's holding it in. Umpire says, I'll have it. Just outside the attacking 50 for the Bays. What a contest. 12-9-81 plays 8-11-59. The Tigers on a weekend when they celebrate the 85 Premiership all over again. And trust me, they are celebrating that Premiership <laughs> all over again. Had their Hall of Fame dinner last night as well. And it looks like it's going to finish on a perfect note for them. They won the reserves. Just going back to that score. They won the reserves by 11 points. And they're in front early in this last quarter, or halfway through the last quarter. The ball back in play. Umpire hovering. Top of 50 for the Tigers. Down at that southern end. Says my ball. Umpire Andrew Crosby. Officiated his 150th game last week. A veteran now of the men in green. Good tackle down there by Ryswick. Freed out the footy towards Joseph. Off there to Motlop. Kick around the body, sliding in Agnew. Couldn't quite take it. Ball ricochets in the direction there of Schultz. Fighting on hands and knees was the youngster we spoke of earlier in Woodall. Ball still in contention. Farms out of handball now in the direction there of Pitt. Did the player in Snoop, and the ball goes over the boundary line. We'll have a throw in. Had some problems earlier this season with the lights down here. They haven't put them on, and it is getting dark down here, the Bays. I was just thinking that. I thought the lights should probably be on. It is getting quite dark, as you say. Ball thrown in between half forward and centre wing, outer side. Possession taken there by the player in Virgin. He's kicked it out of bounds on the full day. So it's a free kick to the Tigers. 
and Howard, true centre wing, outer side. Top 15 draft pick was Christian Howard. Just couldn't quite adapt to AFL lifestyle. Back here in SA, playing for his Tigers. Kick inside 50, Scott flew, one, two, couldn't take it. Good work, Miles. Off to Gorman, off to Ryswick. Inside defensive 50, the former Brisbane Lion. Kicks it to half full, at the centre wing rather. Good strong mark there by Schillerbeer. Quietened off in this final term. Been very good this afternoon. He kicks it to left, half forward. Sits up nicely for O'Keefe. Good pressure at the back there by Merritt. Did put his hands in the back for mine. Could be in the back, but umpire chose to not play it. So the free kick's gone to the Tigers in the right back pocket. And it's going to come back into play. Went out of bounds a bit closer up the half forward line than the Tiger player Agnew thought. And it's going to be a free kick to young Merritt. Just back in defensive 50. You just wonder about that kick coming from Schillerbeer. It was out into a little bit of space, but at this time of the match, in that situation, you'd think he might have gone a little bit more direct. Down the wing, the ball comes, and then the big fist coming over the top there from Reed, knocking it out of bounds for North Adelaide, right in front of the players' race. Just wait on the crowd to give the ball back, and then we'll be underway again. North Adelaide, now I can see that they have made a change. They've, they've taken away their spare player in defence and thrown him up into the contest. Hasn't had any effect thus far. And solid tackle made there by Snook, who I think is the leading possession winner on the day for yep. the Tigers. 32 touches, 11 clearances. He's been a real improved player in the last couple of years. One of Glenelg's best midfielders now. I should ask some of the Bay people what happened to his brother. So Bradley, brilliant hand pass out to Snook and then to Earl. And then Earl's kick was just heading into the forward line and it was smothered off the boot as well. It was his brother Shannon, wasn't it, that went down to South Adelaide in the end and we spoke to Matty Snook on the Thursday Night League team show a little while ago. Cough did ask him about him for the life of me. I can't remember what his reply was. I think he might be <laughs> playing Southern footy. Ball thrown back in. A little bit going on off the ball. Amato, speaking of off the ball, he loves it. Oh, Schultz had both hands in the back. The umpire called play on. Releases it for Ryswick. Joseph won't catch him, you'd think. Ryswick oh. was then poor. <laughs> he wanted to get Obbs to Shepard, and it didn't happen. And then he decided, well, I better speed up again. And by that time, Joseph had run him down. Great highlight from Aaron Joseph there. Gives off the handball there to Howard. Back in towards left back pocket. Merritt, the youngster. Chip short and finds Jolly. Got the fluoro orange bootlaces on this afternoon. Standing out in this uh, very dark conditions at Gliderol. Jolly goes short to Sanaf back to Earl. Hambles off to Bradley. The handball just under the pressure. Missed the target. Ball turned over. Howard overran it. Spills in the hands there of Rise. We've got a teammate out on the forward flank there in O'Brien. Just couldn't take it. Gets it back in a handball there to Virgin. Through his fingertips. Off there to Agnew. Intercepted. Hambles over the top now to his fellow redhead. In Bailey, off to Curran, now with Malira. Left forward pocket, inside 50. Alloway couldn't take it. A lot of pressure there from the young man in Craig. Alloway does well, ball still in play, gets a handball out. Good tackle there by the youngster in Cameron Craig. Ball still in defensive 50 for the Roosters. They clear it now, the handball just missed the target at the toes of Reed. And we'll go over the boundary line, we'll have a throw in. Just ticked into time on, 22 gone final term. Glenelg will go on to record their first victory of 2015. The first for senior coach, Matthew Loken. Ball thrown in, out of side. Well, the Bayes players from that famous premiership in 85 would be impressed with the success this afternoon as Howard goes to goal across the face. It goes for the minor score. So just the addition to the score there that's just going to extend that lead out to 23 points. You'd think they'll be thinking about Lenny's tonight. <laughs> Those boys from 1985, they'll Absolutely. be already. And it's getting dark, so they'll be thinking, let's go. <laughs> let's get the uh, flares on and head down there. So the behind went to Howard, his third on the afternoon, and the kick out came from Motlock. Gorman couldn't take it. Nice attempt at Mark, but Glenelg have some numbers back. Joseph slips over, gives a handball back to Bailey. Good tackle down there by Anderson. Looks like it's going to be rewarded holding the footy. So Darcy Bailey just giving away the free. Joe Anderson, a former Carlton player himself, takes it, quickly plays on, kicks it down the line. Schillerbeer rises, couldn't take it. Good crumbing down there by Max Thring. Kicks it inside 50. He's got Obbs in a one-on-one. -on -one. Obbs bodies out Agnew. Good crumbing by Gorman. Good tackle by Agnew. Ball ricocheted in the direction there of Bradley. Schulz applying some pressure. Good tackle. Bradley tries to free the arms. Schulz had no prior opportunity for mine. Umpire agrees. It'll be balled up about 30 out from goal. 
That's a good decision by the umpire. Great I mean, decision. Really, he's taken the ball to ground. You see that sometimes at AFL level, and yeah. they will pay that as holding the ball, and really, no opportunity. Absolutely. He picked it up and was taken immediately. The ball ricochets off there in the direction of Greg. The chip inside 50. Edwards marks. If it wasn't a mark, it would have been chopping the arms. So Kim Edwards played four league games this year, has marked about 45 out, chooses to play on, gives a handball off to the flanking Gorman from outside 50. The former Crows rookie, has he got it to the goal line? Marked down there on defensive goal line by Carter. And the former Bloods big man has the kick from defensive goal square. Bays are going to grab their first win of the year. Be a big cheer when that siren goes and it can't be far away. 24 minutes gone. So the kick comes out to the halfback flank. Earl, he's been great this afternoon. Off the pack, takes it well. Gives it away to McIntyre, fantastic kick, finds Malira, hand passes on, Malira holds it up, waits, waits, he's waiting for Alloway, Alloway's running towards the goal square, he strikes it hard, he kicks a goal! I'm sure he was aiming for Alloway, <laughs> but instead Malira kicks a goal, and as if there was any doubt, now it's all gone. The Bays will win, Malira with his third, Bays move along to 13 goals, 10, 88, North Adelaide, 8-11. 59. Just watching if Terry Malira heads up to Clint Alloway and says, sorry mate, I was trying to put that into some space for you. Pity the space was in between the two big white <laughs> sticks. <laughs> but a quality finish and North Adelaide supporters now starting to pack up their gear and head home. It's going to be a long season for them. And coach Ken McGregor under a fair bit of pressure. So we're back in the middle. 13-10-88, Arglanelg, North 8-11-59, final siren imminent. Final margin, I'm not really going to uh, reflect the closest of this contest because they have had the better second half. North Adelaide have struggled. Ryswick now hasn't struggled. He's been good this afternoon. Hambles over the top to the right forward pocket. Schillerbeer on the run again, sets it up to the hot spot. Should have had a shot on goal. It's been very good on the run this afternoon. The kick went over the top of the leading player in Schultz. It's taken there by Curran. Hands off to the running Merritt. He's been impressive, this young man. Puts the afterburners on, runs away from Obst. Kicks down the line. It's a beautiful pass and finds Hinge. Plays on back to Merritt. Great run from the young man. Needs to get it rid of it now. Goes inside 50. Down there to the hot spot. Alloway! Great mark down there by Clint Alloway. But fantastic run and carry from the young man in Brad Merritt. Just his third game of league footy. Well, great poise by him, Neil Cross. He was on the Adelaide Reserves list last year. And comes from Lucendale. So... Bays all going to him behind the play just to congratulate him. It was a great run, timed it really well, and then settled and gave a really good kick for Alloway to take the mark. So he's marked at the top of the goal square. This will be a goal for Clint. His first made the goal umpire work. He's kicked it onto the roof for the primary school, but it's a major nonetheless. Glenelg's 14th, 14-10, 94. Uh, Glenelg, North Adelaide, 8-11, 59. 26 gone final term, and that icing will be very sweet on the cake for the Tigers, particularly Clint Alloway, who always liked to play well against his former club. No doubt about that. They haven't scored 100 points this season. That might be their only aim left in this game. Yeah. On oh, 94 points, One the Bays. Well, their best quarter of the year until this afternoon had been their third. They've won five of eight third quarters. They were absolutely steamrolled in the third quarter by... The by the uh, Roosters this afternoon, but the Tigers have had the answers in the final quarter. Out of the middle, ball comes to Ryswick, heads towards goal for North Adelaide. Long and deep goes the kick. Numbers down there, Galley comes across, does pretty well. And then he's taken in the back, I thought. Umpire call play on, Shillaby's hand pass partially smothered. Joseph came out of there pretty well. Now it comes to Agnew, received from Woodall. Agnew down the line towards the players' race. Umpire saw that as in the back. There was a little push there coming from Clisby. And so McIntyre will take the free kick. Nobody really down the line available for him. And so he goes where... Well, he goes over the top, and that's fortuitous. It went to Nicholson. Over the top he goes. Johansson to goal. And Siren. And that'll be the end. He could have got the 100 points with that goal. And I think he was drawn there, maybe, Johansson, to have a shot at goal or give it to Alloway. In the end, it was neither. And at full time... At Gliderol Oval, Glenelg so impressive in the final quarter. Finally, they got their act together. And a lot of relief, you would think, for Matty Locke in his first victory as the coach of the Tigers. It was Glenelg, 14 goals, 10-94. North Adelaide, 8-11-59. Phil, take us through the goal kickers for this afternoon. 
So we've got three to Terry Malira, two in the final term. You're, you're handsome with three also all in that first half. Then two to Tim McIntyre and singles to Aaron Joseph, Clint Alloway, Josh Scott, Craig Pitt and Carl Nicholson. While four at North Adelaide, Darren Shillabier a lone hand in attack with five majors. Three, a two rather there to Nick Amato and a single to 